Hello and welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Game Podcast. I'm Kyle Oliver. Matt Carter. Dustin Bell. I'm so confused. And uh, we are recording on January 31st, the last day of the month. Yes, it is the Thursday night before regionals bum, for bum, Seattle. Bum, bum, bum. Seattle Regionals, the first of the year, I think. Yeah, yeah. first yeah. of the year. Yep. Take but not the last. Well, and we just got done with a very interesting discussion about the ending to Mass Effect 3. Yeah, discussion between one person who's actually played the game and one person who hasn't. Mm-hmm. Kyle hasn't played. I haven't played, no. I have played, and I like the series. My second favorite series. Oh, well, what's the first favorite series? Metal Gear Solid. Oh, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But you already know in the back of your mind. Uh, if I had to guess, I probably would have ended up guessing that eventually... But off the top of my head, I wasn't going to be like, oh, Metal Gear, of course. What might you have said? I don't know. Okay. Like, I, I, would ha- I wasn't even trying to think of what else it could be. Mm-hmm. You ever played Suikoden? Suikoden? Yeah. No. What's that? It's a, it's a PS2, PS1 game? It's a PS1 game. It's, okay. It's a strategy game. Mm. I think, yeah. I, I haven't think so. I haven't personally played it, but... It's a, it always had a very, very difficult name for people to pronounce. Suikoden? S-U-I-K... O D E N. So like, like the that. Pokemon's den. Yeah. Suikoden. Suikoden Tekatris. Te- oh, that. that right. Game. That second word. Suikoden Tekatris. I don't even know. It's Suikoden plus Hecatris. I think that's like the newest. Like Suikoden, like a really old series. Mm. I'm not sure if they came out with any new ones, but like, I was like, look, I was browsing video game like soundtracks, and then there was one that came up. It was called Suikoden. The game was called Suikoden Tekatris. I was like, wow, that's a really complicated sounding name. I bet it's Tear Christ. Tear Christ? Like Tech Christ. I don't think there's a T in there. I wonder if it's made by Konami. Maybe. Because if it is, then we'd probably get Yu-Gi-Oh cards based on it, because they always, always do Make that. cards off of their other games? Yep. Gotta get that victory well, vector. When you have 10,000 plus cards... Gotta get that <laughs> Guru and Login in there, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. That was, like, it's so obvious. I was like... Maybe it's not, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but no, they've they've already made the rest of the gang, so why yep, not? Yep, yep. Where's Con- Conan? Yeah, no, there's like there's a Bootin, there's a Buta, yeah. Buta. There's the Guru Login. There's Entry Logan. Spiral. Yeah, they have Logan. Huh? Yeah, it's the Drill Synchron. Oh yeah, of course, of course they do. Yeah, that's awesome. It's all there. Then Drill Warrior. Yeah, I remember <laughs> one of the monsters that kind of recently came out had a. Uh, Communist cloak, but I can't remember who it was. Hmm. I remember that too. I don't remember. Oh, it was a uh, Gagaga magician. Yeah, he's got his cloak on. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, if if you know what Guru Nagan is, be feel free to look up those cards and be amazed. Oh, and uh, number ninety six, Dark Mist is Dark the uh, anti spirals machine. Mm-hmm. He's one better than you. You get it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's the same as that. They uh, <laughs> somehow we moved that back into Yu Gi Oh. Clever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and You're welcome. Yes, this week we are we are initiating you into training, as we said. Yep. Uh, so much ninja stuff happened. This one was I'm more prepared than ever <laughs> because I've been using ninjas for like months before yeah. this. You thought about ninjas for a while and came up with even more possibilities. I accidentally came up with a brilliant ninja idea that I told you on the way here. Mm-hmm. And it's ninjas called, are pretty much the only thing that I have been using for the past like ever. since YCS. But no, this the idea is called one of two things. Either called ninja cake or cake ninjas, whichever you feel is better. I like I like cake ninja ninjas. cake. I like cake you ninjas. Like cake ninjas? Oh. They both sounded too awesome, so. Mm. But I'll get cake, into cake that ninjas later. are like an actual type of ninja. But there is oh, the yeah. next pack. The next pack makes ninjas fuse with any deck that uses elements. Yep, I know. I it's... couldn't. I was like. That's all that wow. they've been doing for like, like the wow. past couple of things. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Uh, we'll Ninjas get into can it, do I guess. Like anything. Ninjas get more versatile without new ninja support in the next pack. You just want MSTs being dropped all the time? Run some harpies with your ninjas. No, not that. Well, that's good too. There's four cards that come out that oh. just make them fuse really? with everything. The Is that how this ends up like, working out? No, that, that pack's not out yet in Japan. I mean, like. Oh. So, so but I was just thinking the, about it. They can just fuse. We're sorry. talking about the, the Tactical Galaxy, right? Yeah. The Elemental Dragons. Yeah, yeah. those just make yeah. them fuse with everything. Mm-hmm. I wanted one of those matter. to exist right now, but it doesn't. But uh, before that, yeah. 
All of it. Well, we don't even know. There's so much stuff we're going to talk about. Mm-hmm. And not There's so much stuff we're not going to talk about. Yeah. We'll probably talk about what we've been doing. Who? Who's going to start? I, I can start. Talk. I've still been basically just doing my Chaos Dragon Ninja deck. And you know, honing. I got my three or two, whatever they're called. Oh, those are just my water bottles. Falling. I got my... Yeah, I guess it was a play set of Infernity Barrier, so I will oh, eventually yeah. make the uh, Infernity Randomizer deck. We donated to the cause. Yep. That reminds me. Just something else altogether was that Rob and... Uh, well, I can't remember his name. The other guy. Jordan? Kevin. Kevin, yeah. Kevin. Kevin. I was like, I know I know so many people by that name, so I don't know his name. Mm. But uh, we're running an Infernity deck, and they both went through one at Locals with it. And it's just really good. Hmm. Uh, it's it's like it feels like randomizer, except it's more like they just continuously revive Archfiend to get the plus, hmm. and then set everything. <laughs> and it was it was kind of annoying. I was like, wow, this is really good. Hmm. And then I had hand destructions in my deck, which is even worse because oh. they never have cards They're in their hands. Okay. And I was like, I top decked it once, and I was like, this, I might have to take this out. I was like, <laughs> I pretty much have to take this out. Did you? Um... Play them on Monday, or did you play? Yeah, them I played them on Monday. Okay, I don't know. It just it worked really well. I don't like. You either like veil them on the first turn, or they would just like get whatever they wanted, mm. and then set it all. Hmm. But sorry, continue infernities. Well, that was basically it. I have not been doing anything other than uh, some ninja ninja stuff for the podcast and. You were honing for regionals. Yeah, yeah. I still haven't made my side deck. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Some extra Rikos, some extra MSTs, and those are the concrete so far. I don't know, maybe Maxi. In the main deck? No, side. Side, okay. My main deck is pretty much... Confirmed. Yeah. I made my deck so that my side deck could be, like, good with a lot of really purpose-built stuff. Because, as you know, I'm not running, like, a ton of staples or anything. Most of it is just combo deck and trying to make that work as much as possible so I can have good stuff in my side. See, and then, now you give me some maxi. That card's good. Mm. But uh, my decks... Now, Twist of Fate, I'm going to regionals now. Like, twist. Like, I got forced to... I forcibly had to, like, give up working Friday and Saturday in order to work more next week. I so, wish I could just be forcibly... Like, you can't work... I, I can't I'd be like, oh, like my boss like called me like uh, yesterday. Uh, well, yesterday would be like Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday night, yeah, and was like, Justin, you can't work Friday and Saturday because uh, the one of the my coworkers needs you to uh, one of the other dishwashers needs you to work next week. And I was like, oh, well, I guess I won't be working Friday and Saturday then. Weird. So. Now I have to do a bunch of like regional preparation. You have to do power, uh, power preparation. Yeah, power preparation. So I don't have the the things I've been doing. I traded off my Gaga, all my almost all my Gaga stuff, so I don't have to ever worry about making that again. Just when they're about to get good too. I I got (laughs) disillusioned because like I left like some of the some of my Gaga stuff at Matt's house. Mm -hmm. Who knows where it is. So, it's like, this probably isn't ever going to happen. And I saw, like, Kevin, ironically, wanted to trade for some of them. So I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just trade them off. Get rid of them while you have the opportunity. Yeah. Essentially. And I guess taking their place is general plants. General plants. Like, oh. Try to make that work. That reminds me, because, uh, this bad, bad idea. I was trying to think, for some reason... I was looking through my cards, and I found that tin that the guy from McDonald's gave us, yeah. mm. full of bad normal monsters. Uh-huh. And except. It, huh? Except. except. Oh, no, not except. Oh. They're bad normal oh. monsters. Well, like, I mean, there's a Urabi in there. No. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, but, uh, it's a dinosaur, right? Sh- sh- yes, that's why it's okay. But uh, I was trying to think, I was thinking of the worst, not the, the worst plausible Dino Rabbit deck ideas, not Dino Rabbit, Rabbit deck ideas I could possibly make. And I thought of some pretty ridiculous stuff. Uh, I guess I'll finish my segment and yeah. you can talk about that. Mm-hmm. Um, so, for regionals, 
I want plants are not an option because I don't have all the synchros for them. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, like, what are you going to bring? I'm sure he'll bring windups. I uh, pretty much have you to bring have windups. To, yeah, unless have, he wants to run profs. Hey, six two. I don't want six three. It was six three, I think. Yeah, but uh, I would like to run prophecy, prophecy but I don't have like big eye or no. random things that are. Joe helpful. has big eye that we could get you if you actually wanted to. Mm-hmm. It'll come down to the wire for prophecy or. Uh, wind-ups. Whichever one I feel more comfortable with. Mm-hmm. So he's going to run uh, wind-ups. Yep. Uh, no, you will not feel comfortable with prophecy. I feel like wind-ups are like rebelling against me. Like, you you saw that duel that I dueled you with? I shock-locked you. Hey, my deck is good. <laughs> my deck is good. Like, for real, that deck you is good. You wiggled out of it. And I was just bad. I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll take responsibility for that. I was bad. I was. You did do some bads. I was but bad. I, will, I will say that my deck... Is it's going to be a good deck. I can, it's the, it's it the, will become it's good. The real deal. Yeah, it's the real deal. I okay. I realized that after playing it a lot, that it will definitely. It has so much potential. It's like as soon as a card that has a platform for them to discard effectively, the deck will just become ridiculous. All right. So you but sorry. You go now. Oh uh, well. So what I'm talking. I was playing him. He was playing wind ups, and so he. I was like. For some reason, I was just like, yeah, I don't care right now. If you shock lock me, I'll just I'll play it through. I guess. And then so he shock locks me, and then I ended up winning anyway. When I was running my Ninja Heraldic Beast deck. Oh, uh, but that that deck, <laughs> it's again. it's really good. Lose right before, before yeah, win. right before that, I I took out Sang because we had done a bunch of duels before that versus this Prophecy deck, and I had essentially like really made really uh like quick decisions about every card that I ever had in my hand. I was like. I drew it, I had Birdman in my hand, and I was like, I hate this card, and I took it out of the next duel. Like, it was either I hate it, or I wanted it. I decided that for every card that I drew, and all those duels, and I really quickly, the deck edited itself really quick, until I had this really weird build. That ended, Well, the one I'm using is and the weird two build. two tour guides, that's it. I'm going to take those out, but, uh, oh. it's just, I, I realized every time I summon tour guide to bring back a Heralic Beast that's banished with Levier, it just ends there. I, I don't like that. I can't do anything with that. It's just, understandable. I just end up with two 18 beaters, and it's not worth it. I'm probably they're going to be replaced by what I think will make the deck like really scary good, which is two snipe hunters. I think that'll piss people off, and it answers so many problems with the deck. I was just like, just because you can essentially just like get destroy two cards for almost free, because Leo is so good. It's like the dandelion, but with 2,000 attack. And what does Leo do? Oh, when it's sent to the graveyard, you add a Heraldic Beast from your deck to your hand. But yeah. you can only do it once per turn. It destroys itself if it's, if it's normal summon? Yeah, if you normal summon it, it destroys itself during the end phase. But, uh, you don't really normal. I've never really normal summoned it. Unless I exist with it. So. Uh, I usually special summoned it with normal transformation, or foolish burialed it. But uh, if I run Snipe Hunter, I was only running one copy at first, because it's just, as soon as you got it, you had it for, like, ever, because I ran triple DDR, which is crazy, which made me realize this other idea that I had, because I was, Matt brought some some new Pokemon players, right? Yeah. And you're trying to teach him Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was trying to think, well, what would I make a deck of if I made, like, the most simple deck for someone to understand that could do legitimate things? And so I thought of this warrior deck. I was like, Thrasher is really easy to understand. Uh, so I was like, Thrasher plus some normal warriors or warriors with like little to no effects, other than like maybe attack manipulation plus like uh, Phoenix Blade. Quip spells are really easy to understand, and that one also has some a beneficial effect. And you just run like DDR and stuff like that, and it allows you to swarm like uh, warrior monsters. And have high attack monsters. It's all it's all fun and games until you bring out Excalibur. And you yeah, and then you just kill them. someone, and it's just like so. It, like it would, I was like, wow, this will work. And uh, so, like, I've been experimenting with the idea of banishing cards to gain advantage by banishing them, so I can use DDR for free and make just rank fours for free. Mm-hmm. Uh, and backwards toolboxing from a graveyard. That's ended up what being with the Heroic Beast did really well because Abercon way. If you have two Abercon ways in the graveyard, gosh, this card is so confusing. I always, I tell people when I'm doing what it does, and then they like ignore it because they didn't get it. But uh, because I kept having to say it, and they're like, "So what does that one in the graveyard do again?" And I'm just like this and that. But uh, you banish it. If you have two in the graveyard, you can banish 
one of them to target another heraldic beast in the graveyard and add it to your hand. If you have two Abercrombies. You no. have two Abercrombies. No, you don't have to. You, you have, do. You do? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Because, like, after you said that, I re remember reading the card and being like, you don't need two Abercrombies. You just need a heraldic beast and an Abercrombie. No. I don't think so. I could find out right now just to make sure. But uh, make it you banish it to add another heraldic beast to your hand most of the time. That's like what you do. So what you do is you can, like, the ideal play is you banish, you have DDR in hand, that's it. And you uh, banish Aberconway to add Leo to your hand. And you discard Leo to special with Aberconway. And then Leo's discarded, you add a Aberconway to your hand, which mm -hmm. sets up the Aberconway again, because you now have two in the graveyard again. But uh, if this card is in your graveyard, banish another Aberconway. So this one banishes oh. the other one. Right, okay. So it was weird. And then uh, you only use all their effects once per turn. I started doing that now on like everything. Every monster can only use its effect once per turn. So the series can only use their effect once per turn. Huh? So once per turn, you can only activate the effect of an Aberconway. Once. Yes, one Aberconway a turn. Okay. Uh, but Sad. essentially, that play, all it does is it summons a rank 4. And they're both wind monsters, too. So there's a free summon, Chidori, which is crazy. The most annoying... That the thing is monster so is good. so annoying. Yeah. But so you summon it for free, and then it su it sets up free advantage next turn. Plus two. Yeah. Essentially, you get to summon a monster for free that removes their card, so you get a plus, like, two. You get a monster, and you get their monster gone, and potentially one of their face downs gone, too. So yeah. plus three at that point. If they leave it alive, then you just... The next turn, card. you get another plus from the Abercon ways, and then another plus from its effect. So it potentially just, like, ultra-simplifies the game, like, immediately. Your opponent has, like, not much, and you have a bunch of monsters in your hand. When it baits out their, their solemn wings. Yeah. And then, on top of that, they have their, like, little Miracle Fusion, which can go into that thing again. <laughs> so you're just like, oh, uh, Miracle Fusion into Chidori, and then you just kill the card, kill another card. Solemn Morning, my first Chidori that was free? Yeah. Here comes my one-card second Chidori. <laughs> oh, and I didn't... I underestimated how good, uh... Genome Inheritor was, or Genome Heritage. I destroyed people with that card. That card is good. <laughs> I was like negating the Xyz monsters, taking their effects, whatever. Oh man, it's it so good. Awesome. It was so, cause, so, what happened? It never, I never got, I played plants and you never Xyz, so it didn't matter. Oh. But, uh. You impaled me when I was playing one. Yeah, he was like, Justin thought it was safe. He could summon Tyrus. And so I, like, I ripped the Miracle Fusion, pretty much. Played it. And then I summoned that guy, took Tears' effect, made his attack zero, attacked over it for 2600, and then destroyed his other monster. No, it was like, was that the shock lock game? Like, it might have been I, I later like, in the game. I would like grinded you down to like nothing, and to you were dust. top decking. And then I did that, and then I when I used its effect, it allowed me to search with Leo, because I detached the Leo. Because it, it's like Dandelion, so when it's detached, Leo also gets his effect. Mm. So like... This, the, their Miracle Fusion gives you so much cards. It's like the same as when you do the Shining, almost. Except it has a... You can summon a monster with a helpful effect. Because you go, Oh, bring out whatever Xyz I want. Detach Leo. Search my deck for Aberconway. And if I can detach the other one somehow, now I've got two Aberconways, which means I can add Leo to my hand or an Aberconway to my hand. It just, it, you get free cards, like, for no reason. That's why I needed the Snipe Hunter. That's why I was running Hand Destruction. Okay. Like, it would get to the game state that was similar to the hero one, where it's just like, I got all these, I had all the monsters in my hand, and I couldn't possibly play them all now, but I needed to get out of the situation, but I had too many cards, like, in order to do, I could only do, like, one of the cards, but I had, like, five normal summons in my hand. Hand destruction is poopy. Huh? I, and I can't run hand destruction, because I don't, that's only helpful in that game state. So, like, if it's early and I've got, like, a Hanzo and one of them in my hand, I don't want to discard everything. Oh, and then, then Hanzo just controls, like, the game by himself, which I'm sure we'll talk about. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's weird. I need, I might, I, I'm trying to figure out, like, what cards I can take out. I was running three Super Transformation, because that's what my old build that I, like, transformed into the Heraldic Beast one was running. Mm hmm But then I realized I only have three Dragon Monsters in my deck. Three and I started targets. running out, yeah. Just running out of targets, so I probably need to put it down to two, or add another monster. You oh. took out the red dragon ninjas? No, there's one. You only need one. You only need what one. What about blue dragon ninja? Not on that one. <laughs> I don't 
No, I just, not in that one. I don't need to transform with the monster that I transform into. I just wanted to die. You took out regular transformation? No, I'm running. That, that one's the better one in that deck. Because you can transform into everything. Because yeah. uh, they like, they're like, oh, Dark Hole, and you're Hanzo, and you're like, oh, transform into Leo, search my deck. And then, or you transform into Zephyros, or you transform into Miss Valley Falcon, and just recur everything. Zephyros recurs everything, or you transform into Red Dragon Ninja, and juggle. Lots of spending in that deck. Should we talk about actual ninjas? We should go into ninjas. What about yeah. news? What about news? I think there was like one thing of news. Maybe. Yeah, uh, they they announced. Oh, well, oh, first star, we'll take yeah, we'll right. take a short break to make a noise, and then we'll then we'll tell you about some news, and then after that we won't take another break, but we'll just start talking. Here we are with news, and uh, some of this will be a little bit of review, but we're just, it's not like, you might have forgot, or you might have not listened to every podcast, but uh, first one is real news that we haven't said. The most boring pack in all of the land. Yeah. Nuh-uh. Star pack. Oh. Star just pack. Just in case you forgot about battle pack. It's like the battle pack. And just in case you forgot that Utopia has been reprinted before, we're reprinting it again so that you remember it's been reprinted. See, they can't sell the ba- they can't sell this because the battle pack reprinted tour guide and a bunch of other nice stuff. This doesn't re- this doesn't reprint anything. Well, they don't. They haven't revealed most of it. They've revealed oh, eight no. cards. Wait, Weisel? Yeah, that's gonna get reprint. No. Oh, oh, the yeah. The light ruler. Yeah, it yeah. is. Arcana oh. Forest. I've been looking for that. But uh, so no, it's a uh, it's a pack. It has three cards in it. Uh, well, each pack has three cards. That would cost fifty cents. And there's yeah, it said it, it cost double. It was a dollar. A dollar. But, uh, so, the like, actual retail cent. value of 99 cents, that's what it said, mm-hmm. I think. But, uh, you get three randomly cards, one of them is a star foil, and it's a 50 card set. Uh, so far they haven't revealed a whole lot of good things, and by a whole lot I mean nothing. Mm-hmm. One is like, two makes sense, because they deserve reprints. I'm fine with Weisel, I'm and fine with Escurado. But, uh, so they got Galaxy Eyes, which is Y, Terabyte Y, Utopia Y, Goblin Berg. Why? Yeah. Leviathan, Leviathan Dragon. Dragon. Been looking for that. Yeah, why? Uh, Arcana Force EX, the Light Ruler, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Mech Lord Emperor Weisel, yeah. Elmadir as Kiridao. Weisel's yeah, already fine. been referred to. When? Dual Terminal. That doesn't count. You don't just go around, like, oh, they reprinted the Dual Terminal, I'll just go pick that up. You want to trade your DT Weisel? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah. See if it's been reprinted. No, else. it hasn't. It was. It came out in the Shonen Jump, right? Yeah. Or something weird that we couldn't get easily. Okay. Shonen Jump and Dual Terminal. Crap. So like, that's why Joe has a. We have, like, we have like eight of those. Yeah, we have a bunch of it, but I mean, it's just like, they should be reprinting those cards because not everybody can just get those. Yeah, that's, I like Escrow Radio being reprinted. Yeah, it's nice. That's but nice. uh. So hopefully they put some more helpful cards in here. Maybe they could make Tour Guide even like easier to get. Of course, the easier. Yeah. I was, that leads me into my next point, which is the con of this pack: three cards. Mm-hmm. Wait, three I cards? Three cards per pack. It's not five. No, it's three. three. Oh, but the it's a con. it's a dollar. <laughs> mm. But it's a dollar. How much would a box of this cost? I want to know. Yeah, it's maybe like, it's a box for like twenty dollars. Not worth it. Ten dollars. It should be fifteen. How many packs It'd do you It'd probably be $20 it? as opposed to like 25 There's 20, 25 cards, there's probably 30. 24. There's probably 24 packs in this. Yeah. And then it's like a $20. You save like five bucks. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. reasonable. That's reasonable. That's like a, that's like a 10. Yeah. Except for you might get a, no, a tour guide video. again. You could get some okay cards. You could get a tour guide well, again. Wait, okay. So essentially what we need to know is what else is in it. Clear up confusion. It. Tour guide has not been <laughs> announced for this. Matt's yeah. just saying things in me. It oh, seems yeah. like it would be. Maybe what if, what if they put a common Levier? Why not? Okay. They could do that. Oh, oh man. Things, really quick. That makes Levier sense, has right? not been announced for this. Kyle's just saying stuff. I'm just saying things that would make it like, okay, I, why not? Oh, yeah. Get that common roach in there. Ooh. Just to kick him in the knee. Exactly. All common the rabbit. Like, those tins. Everything that we have, yeah, right, yeah. that we just got, everything that is like meta-defining from the last everything format. Everything we common. have to pay a premium for. 
We had to get those premium like, metal vests. Why not? Vests common Grapha. Common, common Hyperion. Photon strike common bouncer. Photon Strike Bouncer. Common yeah. Big Eye. You'll just, you'll yeah. just be throwing them eye, on the ground. Yeah. I'd buy some boxes <laughs> if they return a Common Big Eye. <laughs> I'll tell them that right now. Yeah. Uh, so, But uh, also... Uh, oh, and I forgot what day that is. Uh, ooh, it's it comes March out March 1st, yeah, March 1st. So March 1st. the day after the ban list. Or no, the day that's of. the day of the ban list. Uh, and then before that, so I should have said this first, we got the structure deck on Slot of the Fire Kings, which is like right around the corner. The most boring structure deck oh, in yeah. all of the land. But it comes with this monster, though, and it, oh. for some reason they just they forced Easy it to be in here. Easy Flame Hippogriff. Easy Flame Hippogriff, which is a 200 defense monster. That's a lot. Oh, matters. God. It's another one. Its effect is, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Once per turn, you can tribute one fire monster you control. This card gains 300 attack. Who gives a crap? It's 200 defense. That's it. Yeah. It's a 200 defense level 6 monster. Now they have two. They have Hasty Flame Cerberus and Hasty Flame Hippogriff. I think that's the only two they have. Yeah. But that's all you need. Been wait- You've been waiting for this pain. If you're playing Hasty Flames. You can summon this with your Fire Dog and tribute the Fire Dog. You're going to be trading for this or you're going to be buying three of this? That's right. Put those flambells where they deserve to be. Away. Bottomless, but, uh, bottomless on... On Cerberus will no longer be a problem. Why? Yeah, why? Because you'll have another one. You will have. You won't only have three targets. No, that for, still hurts for beyond reason. Uh, <laughs> but so now this comes out on the 7th and the 8th, with the, which is a next week. Friday. <laughs> Buy this, Kyle. That I, yawn was not fake. Buy this, Matt. Oh, Come it's on. next week. Uh, yeah, next week, Friday. Mm-hmm. It's weird. They started doing Fridays now. That's weird. I'm not sure why. All the Italiano countries get it one day before us. What's up with that? They're cooler than us. That's all. Their money is less stable. They should give. They should give this to the people with more stable. Money. They've got to give those Italians their like 400 percent markup cards before the Americans get theirs. Yeah. I got this Italian forty dollar tuning. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> now March eighth. Once again, we've to- we told you about it before. We get the. 2013 Zaxxas Collection tin. Whoa. Better pre-order that right now. Yeah, it's got some It's got some good stuff. Just give me that Volcasaurus. Yeah, Volcasaurus is retarded. That's like the most influential card. I thought I was going to have to wait longer. This is that really bad one, right? Uh Uh-uh. All right, that sounds not bad. But uh, there's actually some really weird cards. Galaxy Wizard's good. Galaxy Wizard's okay. It's the one that looks like something else. Uh, What does it look like? (laughs) Let me see. And then Radiant, Radiant Photon... Paradios, so all that. that's a good it's one. It's actually good too. So, that's the... but I mean, Volcasaurus is meta defining. That's how good it is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. we know what this looks like. <laughs> we you, know exactly. I think you what need this to use Photoshop like. to show me again. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so that comes out right after the ban list, the Friday after the ban list, probably. Mm. If they're offering, it looks like a bell. By the way, you grab it by the handle and then you just ring the bell. Yeah, you ring the bell. March eighth. Make sure you like you grip it really tightly. Yeah, and just maybe wiggle it a little. <laughs> but uh, no. Uh, Volcasaurus. Who did, did anyone want to guess how much that's going to be? Uh, like how much is this tin? Like it's going to be like ten dollars. Ten twenty dollars. No way twenty. Well, how many packs are in it? Maybe twelve. At the most twelve ninety nine. No, we're these have see. all been these have all been fairly inexpensive. There's no reason for it to be twenty. Is there like? Oh, this is one of those ones like they did last time, where yeah, it's, it's got a tiny tin. The three ultimate rares. Oh, there's three. Oh, there's these are the four ultras. Maybe I don't know which ones these are. What? You get the set has a bunch of stuff, so it's a it's got its pre, its own like thing. Remember when we got those random cards? You can look at the uh, 2012 like collector's tin or whatever, like the UV. Yeah, it just had like a bunch of new cards in it. Like it had. Uh, Mastier Acid, mm-hmm. uh, Acid, Bird bon- yeah. uh, something Phoenix, the Bird Bombardment Bird, so all that mi- stuff. So you might not get a Volcasaurus. You this. might not. That's what it seems like. But it says there's three Ultimate Rares, four Ultras, and seven Supers. Mm-hmm. But it says you get three Ultimate Rares, and the set size is there's three Ultimates and 21 Ultra slash Super. So cards. you always get the Ultimates. Maybe. And... You yeah, there's three cards that are ultimate rare variants, but then we've got four cards that are like here, so I'm not sure. I'm confused. Whatever. 
Whatever. This, this tin, this tin It'll be worth down. it no matter what, because you want Volcosaurus. Volcosaurus is going to bring the pain. Yeah, and, and then uh, also in August, which is in a while, we get the next uh, manga, which comes with uh, previously known as number 22, Frank Ken, now known as Zombie Stein. Now you know. You know what he's talking about. G-I-T-O. And we also they also announced the what Hidden Arsenal 7. Episode 12, The True King. Yeah, it's, I said the same it's thing. The old, it's got the different... Ones. Is that Yugi? Yeah, Yugi, Yugi in the Zexley universe? No, there's a, no. There's a there's a curse of dragon right there. But Wait, no, 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 no. Just ignore that. No, I don't want to. It is looks it, awesome. Is this is this from the old? This from the old series. Are you sure? It's probably yes. where he's in the digital yeah, world. Yeah, says episode twelve. I don't know. What it's the twelfth episode of a certain series. That's definitely not the twelfth episode of the, the old f- series. No, it's not. Because they've got it separated into the different ones. It's probably one that only got to the episode. 20. Or, or unless no, it's probably the one where he's Capsule fighting monsters. Pegas- oh, is it capsule monsters? Yeah. What so says capsule monsters? So now, now that we're done, oh, so. so much for my my interest is gone. Now. <laughs> uh, but they announced the next hidden arsenal. So that means we're going to be getting the cards you all wanted now soon. What what cards? You know, Dagger Stam, Roll, Wobble Chain. I don't want uh, to think all about of the sacred cards we wanted. Kyle, all of the Kyle. the. Uh, I don't bags. want to think about how expensive those are going to be. You don't want to think about everybody doing everything at all times, every time they want something I'm going to, to be... People are going to look down on me because I'm not going to have it. <laughs> you don't have Lava Chain? Oh, you must be one of those baddies, huh? And Maybe they'll send, hit him. I don't know. Can you no. send any card to the graveyard? Yeah. yeah. That's good. <laughs> good. <laughs> yes. Good. Uh, yeah, and Rob was talking about how good that'd be in his Infernity deck. Is... Is uh, Ojum Magic from the field or hand nope, to the graveyard? No, doesn't matter. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. Uh, Free advantage. Good. Let the advantage when, uh, flow through you. Jacques but that's when I can. Uh, that's when I can play uh, Volcanics again. Oh, when wait. they got everything they ever wanted. Good luck getting chain. Good luck. I don't think it'll be as hard as you think. The dual terminal one's like what, thirty bucks? It's because it's a dual terminal one. And you could pay twenty dollars if you had the stones. You could have paid twenty dollars for it and gotten it. People See, were paying twenty bucks at YCS for the for the dual terminal one getting it. Kevin was just really really lucky. The but people uh, were. so no, what I'm thinking is because it's not going to be like the other one where that like we ended up it ended up being good. Like oh, Dad goes to Phoenix. We want that. Mm-hmm. Oh, but nobody bought that pack. Everybody's going to buy this pack because they're in it. Yeah. So that is going to be like a lot of it. The mm. best dual terminal pack since Trishula. Yeah. Yeah. But that was different where it was like, the only card you wanted was Trishula. <laughs> and you still have to buy it. It's like, ah, ah that you was so annoying. You can't not get Trishula. If you don't get Trishula, it's a bad pack. Mm-hmm. It's uh, a bad box. It's a bad It's a bad box, yeah. Purchase. It's like, oh, this this box didn't have the Trishula. I, I got one of the... Other box. Yeah. I was only mm. looking for one card. <laughs> It was um, in, like, the first one you were, like, guaranteed to get the cards you wanted, no matter mm-hmm. what. It was like, you'll probably get a Mistor, and you'll probably get a Catastor. You'll probably get a Briotic. You'll probably get... You'll probably get one of them. You might not get one of them. Oh, they're good. You might not pay $60 for just a Trishula, but you'll pay $60 for a likely probability to get a Trishula, and a whole ton of cards you'll never use. You'll probably get one. But no, this one, it has... Like, archety- whole archetypes of meta-defining cards. That are, inc- that are yeah, exactly, that are useful. They are useful. Uh, all the Gishki cards that we've been waiting for, if you wanted to... We've got Gishki. Uh, and then, on top of that, there's a bunch of, like, Xyz staple monsters, essentially. So what I'm thinking is, because there's only two types of rarities, Super and Secret, in this pack, mm-hmm. the prices are going to be kind of weird. I feel like you're going to be getting good Supers for, like, not that much. Yeah, because well, they, they don't. People don't value that. They're supers. essentially commons. Yeah, unless and it's like a really are going to be unreasonably expensive if they're really good. Well, the the sites that open like seven hundred packs, you'll be people will be they and people like them will be able to go across all of the sites and see how many they Immedi- were able to pull. Yeah, from. immediately know the ratios almost. Yeah, and so it'll be easier to determine the values of the cards. This might be one pack where pre-ordering from somewhere like Ideal would be good. Mm. I think the price could go up. Yeah. Oh, of the box. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, if there's two good cards that are like that are secrets, it's almost like in the past the chances are you'll get one of them. Mm-hmm. 
So the chances are you will get an emerald or a chain if you buy a box. One or the other, probably. Let's let's hope Konami... I assume they're going to do something where it's like you can't get both, but you'll get one. Mm -hmm. No matter what. If you I'll get be both, you'll be the winningest. Yeah, you'll be the winningest. <laughs> cool. But it'll be like, you'll be like me pulling two tour guides from a battle deck. Yeah. Yeah. Should we now start talking about Le Ninjas? Le Ninjas. Should we take a break from yeah. doing that? Yeah, yeah, might as well. And like a ninja, we transfer carry into the, the burden, future. Carry the burden like a beast. Like a beast? A beast of burden? No one beast. We're not going to teach you how to walk up trees, because that's physically impossible. Uh, no, but as you just saw, you were listening to us, and then all of a sudden, we transformed into music, and then we were behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Like ninjas. You're talking, you're mm -hmm. listening to yeah, us, you're, you're listening right. to us, and all of a sudden, boom, music. What was I listening to? Where did they go? And then we're back. Because we can do yeah. that. Yep. Ninjutsu art of music transition. Mm -hmm. We could have killed you over the sound waves, but we spared you. I bet you're wondering why. All right, so, so we are going to be talking about ninjas. Uh-huh. Um, Step on me. First up, we have Hattori Hanzo. Uh, also known as Hattori Masanari, uh, he was a famous samurai and ninja master of the Sengoku era. Uh, credited with saving the life of Tokugawa Ieyasu, and then helping him to become the ruler of United Japan. Yep. Justin looks pretty interested in this amount of information. <laughs> I like. I saw it on the side, and I was like, "Oh, that's nice. See, there's some information on the real Hanzo." <laughs> ruin you. <laughs> but, uh, no, we're talking about ninjas, then we talk about the ninja of all ninjas first. Mm -hmm. Ninja the Grandmaster Hanzo. The man who has defined ninjas as we know them. He will forever define. Yep. I hope they don't limit ninjas in any way. I, 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 I was scared for a moment. Like, I realized the same thing you did, that they've just been making ninjas better for forever. every pack. Yeah. And then... I mean, they've done beasts, beast warriors. Yeah. But the beast warriors don't matter. They've done beasts, they've done wing beasts, they've done dragons. Yeah. They've done kind of sea serpents. Yeah. And then... They're giving them more options. The longer they wait, the more options they get. Yeah. All that's left is insect. And... I mean, They did even... get insects too, though, but nobody tried that ever. They did insectors. Oh, insectors? That's true. That's I, true. I tried that, but it's just... That doesn't really work. The insectors are too weak to transform into. Mm-hmm. But, uh... And there's no, like, destructible ones that are worth it. Yeah. But sorry. So we will, uh... Talk about Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo first. Level 4, Warrior Dark. 1800 attack, 1000 defense. He has two effects. When he's normal summoned... You can add one ninjutsu art from your deck to your hand. Uh, when he is flip or special summon, you can add one ninja monster from your deck to your hand, except Hanzo. So he has the dreaded when you can. Uh. So you can't chain call. call to an effect activating and then summon Hanzo and expect to get his effect. That's not going to happen. Sad days. Yeah, I always am like, oh. Well, I, I really want to get Hanzo's effect. It's like, but I don't want to just throw them out there and let them know yeah. call the Hans there. But if they try to go into this thing that I know will start to try to destroy it, mm. then it's just like that bad slippery slope. Yep. Or you end up doing the call too early or something. Uh, so with the ability to add either, basically super transformation and regular transformation are yeah, the Yeah, I actually thought about trolling really hard and adding the one that makes them not destroy the battle. I was thinking, what would happen if I just sighted in those? Which one is that? Rain or is that rust? No, it's really old. Is it? Ninjutsu art of decoy. Oh, decoy, right, right. Because uh, right. like I know sometimes you just like get into game states if you grind to where like if they have a spirit reaper, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. But then what if you could just like search it with Hanzo when you feel like you just run one, mm -hmm. you sighted in, and you just summon Hanzo, and you just decide that he's not a strong battle this time. That would be interesting. Let's see. Which one do they want? Decoy? Decoy. 
But uh, so he adds the ninjutsu arts. There's they're mostly continuous traps and like one spell. I think one might just be a normal trap. No, I don't know. Uh-huh. I can't remember. The rest I'm not interested in. Yeah, but there's the two that are the major ones that allow them to synergize. They're they're mostly an engine. Shadow ceiling. Rust mist. Rust mist. Glacier fall. Oh, there's a there's a nice one. Huh? Uh, Ninjutsu art. Uh, there's rust mist rust and mist. freezing. Ninjutsu art of freezing. Ninjutsu art of shadow ceiling. Ninjutsu art of duplication. Ninjutsu art of transformation. Super transformation. I'll actually just search them all so we can see them. We got art of alchemy, Armor. freezing, rust mist, decoy, duplication, shadow, shadow ceiling, super transformation, and transformation. Decoy. But a ninjutsu art of decoy is just a continuous trap. Target to face a ninja mashi control. It cannot be destroyed by battle. Awesome. Uh, and they got all these cool sounding ones that are from the manga and anime. Armor ninjutsu art of revival. Armor ninjutsu art of teleportation. Great kite of ninja. <laughs> ninja, ninja smoke ball. ball. But uh, yeah, those ones aren't real. Mm. What what would ninja art of teleporting do? I feel like it'd be the same as duplication, which is also a good one. I hope it's return it to the deck. And, well, uh, why? Why not? Ninja armor ninjutsu art of teleportation. This anime slash manga card, or maybe even completely fake. I don't know. Uh, target one phase up ninja monster you control. Special summon one ninja monster from your hand whose attack is less than or equal to the attack of the target. During this turn, the target and the monster special summoned by this effect cannot be cleared in attack. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. That's just straight up bad jazz. Well, great kind of ninja. I, it's exactly what I thought it was. You remember those? Nope. Enemies, no, we're not reading that one. Enemies <laughs> in Okami who are like right on yeah, those yeah. fights. Imagine those a ninja cool. doing that. Doing like. That's surveillance before their drones. Okay. Oh, that one's just good. <laughs> just ninja uh, Art of Revival. Special summon ninja in your graveyard. Hey, what do you know? Spell. But, uh. So back, back on topic. We got a little bunny yeah, rabbits right there. Hmm. But uh, there's the two transformation ones, which are the main ideas that cause people to run ninjas in the first place. And before even bothering with talking about what you're going to be running alongside of Super Transformation, which can summon a dragon, dinosaur, or sea serpent type monster from your deck, you're and Standard Transformation, which can summon an Lady insect, ninja, wing yeah. beast, or beast. Or beast. Mm-hmm. Super Transformation removes a monster from your opponent's side of the field. So it's a removal card. The, the, that's what I've, at first I wanted to use it as like, oh, I want to get to this card and use it as an engine. So it's like, if I'm running a Sea Serpent deck, I might as well run Hansa in this. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't really work like that. That's why we're here to train you. Yeah. So you can think of Super Transformation as being able to remove any non exes monster in the game that can be targeted from the field. Rule and clarification. It turns out it cannot remove the disease materials. I mean, disease mm-hmm. monsters. Uh, there's so much so. rulings that I could get into on this card. I could almost make an article called The Rulings, but then <laughs> it's been done before, so why? Mm. The 400 rulings of Super Transformation. Uh, but uh, we'll read the card, I guess. Super Transformation. Super Continuous card. Trap. Uh, target a face-up ninja monster you control and one face-up monster your opponent controls. Send them to the graveyard. Then special summon to your side of the field one dragon, dinosaur, or sea serpent from your deck whose level is less than or equal to the combined levels of the sent monsters. And then when this card leaves the field, banish that monster. Wow. You can actually like this card on Facebook. (laughs) Yeah, you can like every card in the Yu-Gi-Oh! database. On Facebook? On Facebook through the Konami database thing. And it will reflect that's clever, it on your though. Facebook page. I 100% agree it's clever. Though I wonder how they're going to start making money off of this. I, I wonder. Guess they're stealing money from They can people. potentially figure out statistics about the how which cards are liked a lot. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. I wanted them to do that, and then they finally did. They yes. also need to do. Which cards do people like them? They most? need to buy Dueling Network. Yeah. Because then they'll be able to just know which decks are being played. Yeah. I'm surprised they haven't done that already. So, if you know people at Dueling Network, tell them they should probably either get ready or talk to Konami. Be like, Konami, these are the people... Because you play Dueling Network, and then you start using the decks that you get excited for. Mm -hmm. And then Konami Mm -hmm. can see what the American market is actually excited for, as opposed to just reading for I almost feel like they don't want us to play the cards before they come out either. 
They can't get away with that. Yeah. <laughs> There's the internet will find a way. Just yeah, like yeah. just like Jurassic Park. There's like two dueling networks. They'll engineer off. whatever they have to. Yeah. Right. What are they called? Uh, there's one dinosaurs. No, <laughs> that's not what they're called. I know there's two other like dealing network programs. It's there's one. That, it's like <laughs> DevNet or something. It's like something that like doesn't even sound like a dueling network hmm. type program. It's there like, was Kaiba Corp. Yeah. There was. There is yeah. Yugi Pro. There's dueling network, and then there was Yu Gi Oh Virtual Desktop. Those are the ones that Dev, I know. Of. Dev Pro. I think that's what it's called. Mm. Dev Pro. Like you wouldn't think that's a Yu Gi Oh program, but it is. <clears throat> But it is. And but uh, there's the one that's Matt. There's the ones that Matt mentioned, which are also are still. Oh, Matt liked it on Facebook. That was the first one. Kaiba nice. Corp is not around anymore. I don't know. It might have turned into something else or shut down. Yeah, but uh, Super Transformation. Uh, Art is good. Like some people, like when it came out, people were like, "Well, you can use it as like this engine to summon uh, the dragons you want from your deck," which to an extent does occur. Mm-hmm. But as you said, it's more important that you can control their opponent's monsters with it. And you might say, well, if you summon Hanzo and add this to your hand and then set it, isn't that a problem? Your opponent knows what what to do. Your opponent will just play around it. I mean... Who cares? Yeah, who cares? You're, con- you're completely controlling what your opponent is doing. Short of an MST, if they normal summon something, you can get rid of it. No matter what, if it threatens you. For free. For free. for free, yeah, that's the other thing, is that, like, they're playing around a card that you don't actually need to care about, because it wasn't worth anything. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, oh, they, like, people think about, like, well, if it doesn't work, you've, like, somehow lost something. Mm-hmm. But if it doesn't work, all you've lost is something that was free. Yeah. So it's like, they essentially, they lose no matter what if they get rid of it, almost always. Mm-hmm. They MST it, they lost a card. <laughs> it's just so. like... Yeah. You summoned a Thunder King, and they got rid of it in every way that you can get rid of a Thunder King. It doesn't really matter. Except except when they get rid of a Thunder King, they usually like one for one with it. Mm-hmm. When they get rid of this, they right. neg one because this card was free. free. Exactly. They have to get rid of Hanzo and it at the same time, or it's just not worth That's it. That's what sticks in my mind whenever I get rid of Super Transformation, or I try and play around it. I'm like, I'm playing around a Phantom. A Phantom card that's not supposed to be here. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the the second part is that when this card is removed from the field, banish that monster. Oh, that that rarely that happens. never matters. Yeah. I make sure to try and make it happen as much as possible. Uh, I in the last duel that we did, I don't think you did it to me once. I mean, I might not have summoned Hanzo, but I don't think like I, it rarely matters at all. I can't do it in prophecies because I guess that's true. There's prophecy. It makes yeah. sense. Because, like, in all the situations that you could destroy it after it summons a monster, why would you do that if you could just destroy it first? Mm-hmm. So the monster, usually, if it goes through, that means they couldn't destroy the transformation. Mm-hmm. Which means it goes through your turn, which, like, almost always means you get rid of the monster. Mm-hmm. Yourself. So, I mean, it just never gets banished. Yeah. And then it's not like, when it leaves the field, it leaves either, which is nice. Mm-hmm. This card stays forever. Yeah, and that's the that's like the third thing, is that if there is anything that your deck needs to do in uh, recycling, if it can recycle this card or if it can use this card, you just have a face-up trap card sitting there oh. as a resource. In case you didn't notice, Konami set you up a combo. To do yeah, they have stuff. really obvious combos yeah. pictured on the card. Rebel against Konami. Do not do their bad combo. Do a better combo. Okay. He's got a picture of Hanzo taking, I think that's... Nisi Pachi. Oh, no. The combo I was thinking of was... Summon Dark Horus. Right? No. Yeah. No, the no. Ninjutsu Alchemy? Yes. Yeah. They want you oh, to use that. Alchemy. Ugh. Don't do that. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, so they want you to use Alchemy. Ninjutsu Art of Alchemy is uh, destroy all Ninjutsu Arts you control Ninjutsu and draw two cards. That's um, this card is terrible. <laughs> it makes sense. Like, you read it and you're like, okay, this will work. It's like... It's magic a double planter. Sword. Give me that yeah. magic planter right now. It's like Magic Planter, except you can surge it. Yeah. But and I don't feel and like... it gets rid of all of the ninjutsu arts. There is potential for you to just have cloggy ninjutsu arts on your field, which on one hand isn't a problem, but it's also if you want a clear fear, the field, there is a card that can do it for you. First of all, like you search this card. Don't... No. You don't search this card. You search, no, you, search, you never. You search super transformation. Yeah, don't the, search the problem is, alchemy. Like you don't. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. The pro, yeah, the problem with 
alchemy, yeah. Like you said, you don't you never search it because you want to search something else. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to draw it. In which case, you don't want to run super alchemy because it destroys all of them. Just run Called Haunted because it's good in ninjas and run Magic Planter. Or not Magic Planter at all and just scrap that idea I mean, from you, your mind. If you're gonna do it, then if you're gonna do it, then run Magic Planter. Yeah. True. True. Magic, Magic Planter, Planter, like either send one face up continuous trap card you have on your side of the field to the graveyard to draw two cards. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's the same except it works on Call of the Haunted and it doesn't destroy everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a weird oh, was tangent thing. But uh, so, other rules. Well, I was, I'll say the combo that they, I was going to say. On the card, it's telling you what they wanted you to do, mm -hmm. which was tribute their monster to summon Dark Horus from your deck. Yes. And when Dark, when your opponent activates this spell, Dark Horus special summons a level 4 Dark Monster from your game, which is on oh, uh, Which I guess that it's okay. You set me up, Karabi. But then, first, you got to run Dark Horus. And they have to have the high enough of a monster, and they have to like not stop you at all. I'm pretty Dark sure. Horus like eight. It's only yeah. in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh, like only like two people have tried that idea. So I feel like it's worth a try, just to see if it works. I that. know it won't work because first I don't desperately I don't want to rely on my opponent to activate things to special summon. I don't want to have to run a level eight monster I can't do anything with in my hand. I don't want to rely on them summoning a level four monster. Yeah. yeah. What are the chances that they don't that they run a deck without spells? That's like doesn't mean doesn't, <laughs> doesn't mean they're going to activate them. They, I, I'll I'll read it well, to you. It's more restrictive than you think. Then it you're is. menacing your opponent without actually doing anything. You're restricting their options, just like using super transformation. No, you're not. <laughs> uh, it's once yeah. per turn after resolving a spell card that was activated by your opponent in their main phase. Oh, well, how restrictive! <laughs> oh, they changed that card text. That it was is. probably different, but essentially it was the like same. no, it was illegible. Oh, it was you just, just horrible. You just didn't know what they were. It was what they were talking about. What? But then you can target all four dark monsters in your graveyard, special summon that target, <laughs> and then it must be on the field to activate and resolve this effect. So there was no clarification of when your opponent activated the spell card. There was none. There was oh, it has to resolve. Oh, that's so much more clear. Ah, oh. wait a minute. So tell me how this is worse than controlling that super transformation. Now they can't activate spell cards, so you plus. Yeah, they they can, but uh, it's such a yeah, such a pipe me, it's such you? a pipe dream that you thought that that would go through. <laughs> if that went through, they probably don't even want to play any spells because they couldn't play them anyway. So once per turn, keep it, you keep after your resolving. boot on their neck while no, they're no, down. It's, it's not. They have no idea. The only way that this, the, the best way that this would work is if they play Randy spell card, they play reinforcement of the army, they activate it. Then you chain Dark Horus. super transformation huh? to grab Dark Horus. So he has to stay on the field. When a spell card is resolved, does it say no, activated? Oh, it's it activated. says when a spell card that was activated during your, after moon? resolving a spell card that was activated. It says after resolving when it oh, doesn't so I say guess this. you can chain. Ugh. So that's how it that Ooh, yeah! But then... <laughs> and then... Impossible uh, miss the timing. <laughs> no. They won't miss the timing. Right? Won't it? No. No, no, because no, it'll this will always be that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so bad. Who... Who <laughs> said... Wait, no, no, no. Who summons a monster and then plays Rhoda? Who does that? <laughs> Maybe they had it on the field and you just summoned a Hanzo. Standby phase. <laughs> or what? they already had it. Main Stand phase. Up. Yeah, main. Oh, well, I it's mean. just the 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 stars have to align, man, for no, this card to work. That the and then combo has the, the problem up. is like you can already bring back Hanzo, so who cares? And they don't always summon level fours because like it's actually really hard to get people to summon level fours and like effectively kill them with it. Yeah, so, like, that's, why, that's why. That's why when you're running block. this. You usually run a bunch of level four monsters that this can summon. That is true. Uh, so yeah, that so super transformation. Centers. Hanzo lock. You run this. Dark chorus. <laughs> I'm just gonna like, smother your face. I'm, hey, I'm fine with them. It's uh, seven tools of the bandit. Then you have complete coverage. Seven tools of the bandit. That's funny. Or something that punishes. I don't know if there's a card out there that punishes people for playing traps. Or they just play dark hole. Who cares? Then like, they just knew. Just, uh, didn't you laugh at them? What if you draw a dark chorus? <laughs> what if you draw it? Are you going to run two to make sure that Trade when you die, in. you can... So? Trade <laughs> in. There's a card. Your you deck is forgot. getting worse. No, it's not. It's getting so much better. You know, the good thing about Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo and Super Transformation is that it's really consistent when you draw it. You can do things... You can do things... <laughs> you can do things like run Pot of Duality to get Hanzo, and then that I helps the consistency. Duality. What? Are you saying that's bad? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I'm probably, saying that you you just said that you like pretty much that you always open with Hanzo, which is just not true. If I could always open with Hanzo, I'd be doing some crazy things. It's really easy to open with Hanzo. Just because you can open with Hanzo doesn't mean you do. You just don't. You just don't. It's like 50%. Is there a problem with having fun? I think... I know you can do it. I think the Dark Horse sounds fun. I think it sounds fun, but I'm telling you not to do it because it won't work. That's what I'm saying. I like So, I don't like have fun, it won't work. Yep, don't have fun, it won't work. That's so sad. Like, <laughs> I don't know, I changed my mentality when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not going to, like, assume that things aren't going to work unless I try them. Okay. Like, Spellbook Library of the Heliosphere. Everything in my mind told me that that was just not going to work. <laughs> I told you it would work. I just said it would be unimportant. It doesn't like do anything. I'm pretty sure you didn't say it was going to work. Uh, I remember when I told you that you can run it next set when the cards come out that allow you to run it. And I said, now it's awful, because it was awful. Yeah, I like, repress that in my mind and then rediscover it. Okay. I think that's what happened. Hey, look, now that I went back to Transformation, it says it has one like. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we should tweet it and say that this card's the best card ever. But, no uh, oh. But no. Um, back on topic, I guess. I guess. But, uh, so, transforma super transformation again. So, uh, it targets two monsters, and that resolution, it takes them, no matter which ones are still left on the field. So, if they remove their monsters, or if they remove the Hanzo, or if they just, like, switch control, they still go away. As, as many of them will go away as possible. That is resolution. really annoying, because I felt like... The wording of the card made it, it feels so like it shouldn't. that if you one of the cards leaves the field, that it shouldn't like resolve, but it does. Yeah, which is, I guess this is official. Yeah, that's right? an official ruling. Okay. Uh, so it'll always send as many as possible to the graveyard, and then it'll special summon one equal to the the, lo the levels of that the one sent by transformation. So to clarify, if there even if there's nothing left, this thing is gonna still try to summon a level zero, zero monster. monster. Yeah. Which is funny, I guess. If there was such thing as level zero, you could summon it. Wait, come back in a year. Yeah, come back in a year. Next year, level zero monsters. No, no, no level monsters. This will be dark tuners. I'll have negative levels. These cards are too powerful. They don't have a level. They're from outside outer space. They're from, I don't know. Uh, New Yu-Gi-Oh! Completely or... over the shark! <laughs> <laughs> no. You jump. We'll have shark. to. We'll have to. Like two years from now, we'll have to clarify ruling because this will summon level zero monsters <laughs> or lower, and then we'll have like negative level <laughs> monsters. So we'll be like, can we this summon negative level monsters for free? This card's really good. <laughs> I forgot like ninjas. I never use ninjas anymore because they can't like summon five monsters in one turn. <laughs> but uh, this thing has some potential. Mm. Yeah. You remember the start of all this spamming beast planes? Oh man. Yeah, that was that was that was a meta defining moment. Mm. But uh, by your second turn, your field's just full forever. But why is this really important? Going back, because uh, a lot of the time the opponent will just remove their monster or, or protect it, it with like lance yeah. or in prophecy's case wisdom, and then you'll just you're like, oh my Hanzo is tributed, so it'll tribute it no matter what, even if you don't have the target in your deck. So then you tribute it. You want to have something left in your deck. So you run level four monsters, no matter what. Yeah, don't embarrass yourself and not summon anything after this. And then try to take it back, because you can't do that. Yeah. Because the, uh, the, like, tributing and then special summon happens in two parts. It says, it's weird, it's send like them to the graveyard, comma, then, and whenever something is, like, a clause, comma, then, it's always one effect. And yeah, and then it does the next one. If the, the one before it happened. And the ne first one doesn't have to happen if the other one can't, if you've already activated it. Yeah, so technically that would force other when-you-can monsters to miss the timing. Because it send them to the graveyard. Yeah. send things. Yeah. And then, like, when this card is sent to the graveyard, you can do this. Fortunately, Light misses her timing. When you tribute it with... When the opponent tributes it with their super transformation. The shiny misses the timing. Shiny misses the timing. Oh, man. Light Pulse Dragon. Complete, 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 victory, over complete <laughs> victory over Shining. Complete victory over Light Pulse Transform. And then, so yeah, you run the level 4s, which is... So what, there's lots of level 4s. What happens if you have a Super Transformation and you change Super... Your opponent changes Super Transformation? Uh, they'll... And one, targeting the same two monsters, then yeah, theirs will go first. Your first one just doesn't do anything. Yeah. So it tries to summon a level 0. Because it sent nothing to Graveyard. And also, another, just another ruling. Uh, if Macro's on the field... 
the it counts the monsters that were sent to the graveyard. So if they're banished, it counts them as zero levels were sent to the graveyard, and then it summons nothing. So you can still tribute them. It still sends them to the graveyard, though. To summon nothing. To summon nothing. So it, instead of being a plus, it's a one You'd, for one. Yeah, it's a one for one, which isn't horrible, but I'm not. I wouldn't want to run that. Actually, that's a minus. Well, I mean, if, if you, you drew you, it, if you count the, if you summon with Hanzo, it's a one for one. Yeah, it's a one for one. Which is... It just turns Hanzo into like a more versatile exiled force. Yeah. 1800 attack, trap, filed, filed force. <laughs> trap out force. Yeah. But no. We've already, like, Ninja Cast, we already talked about all this. So we should, we should get into the stuff, the good stuff, the things that we didn't have before. I don't think we talked about all of that. The Razzle. That was like super. Okay. Oh, and then. We didn't the... even talk about the things that you summon. We just talked like 10 minutes about transformation. Super transformation. But, uh,. It's not clear on the card, but it, you can't target Xyz monsters. Neither ones you control. Like, you can't target a ninja Xyz you have and one of their random monsters. <sighs> and you can't target your ninja and their Xyz. Just simply because they don't have a level. Which is, like, completely unspecified in the card text. But, the, which upsets me. The way that I think about it is that if you had a program that... One of the functions of the program, like one of the one of the side programs that it runs in the main game or whatever, accepts apples and oranges and then computes them in some way and then gives you back a smoothie. And then you try to give it some freakish like like blueberry patch and it's like, I don't even know what this is. What are you what are you giving me? This isn't anything. I'm just gonna break down right now. <laughs> So, like, if you tried to give Super Transformation an Xyz monster, it doesn't have a level, so it just, like, freaks out and implodes. But that's weird, because the cost is still being paid. Like, the cost has nothing to do with the level, so it's almost yeah. like you should be able to do it. True, You should be able true. to do it. But if a card needs to read the variable level, and, it and it's not there, then the card will break. Yeah. Which is weird. But like you guys said, it, it's an effect, so it shouldn't technically matter. It just doesn't have a level. But thinking of it, thinking of it from like a programming aspect. Yeah, from the, like in the game, how could it possibly compute it? Mm -hmm. Unless they gave it like they made a rule where it's like Xyz monster's level is zero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Which they don't want it to have a level at all. Which is one thing that I was always upset about. They just said no, they don't have a level at all. Yeah. What does that mean? Like, what is possible? It has to have a level. It's a monster. Mm -hmm. By definition, monsters have to have a level. That's why it's super <laughs> confusing. They should never have should have done that. They should have just said it was zero. Mm. And then, for the same reason, it shouldn't matter either way if your ninja is an Xyz. So. Yeah. Even though that would be really cool, too. Yeah, but you can So do use, it before they Xyz. You can use... Yes, do it before they Xyz. Uh, you use shadow ceiling. You can use ninjutsu art of decoy on face up ninjas to prevent it from being destroyed by battle. Which doesn't counting your really Xyz. that much. Counting your Xyz, yeah. Um, you can shadow. That's why they made shadow ceiling. I think because mm -hmm. they're like, okay, you can't steal Xyz, so they made shadow ceiling, which is bad. I'm just gonna read it, but you're not gonna use it. Uh, -uh. uh tribute a ninja monster, target a monster your opponent controls, banish that target. And then while this card is banished, while that card is banished, its monster card zone cannot be used. When this card leaves the field, return the card banished by its effect to the same monster card zone in the same battle position. If I trap stun this, will it, like, return it? It won't, because it didn't leave the field. Yeah. But if I return it to my hand with, like, let's say I have giant tunade, so I trap stun it and I giant tunade it, its effect won't resolve, so it'll I assume banished. that wipes this card's brain. Hopefully, but that, that is so not worth it. Yeah, no, no. If there was, like, an easy way to do that, then it would ruin it. Well, you would trap stun for some randy attack or something like that, and then you would, like, magic planter this away. That's the only way that that would Stay work. Stay gone! Or if there was a way to reflip it back face down. Is there a way to reflip cards? Yes. I think there has to be at least one way to flip... Face-up face up cards face down that are in the spell and trap card zone. There has to There's be. some, like, abominable way, I'm sure. I'm sure, yeah, because I remember looking for it at one time for, like, some... Maybe it was a relinquished thing, just to kind of be like, ha-ha. Because it says face-up card, so if you... Well, does it leave the field when it's flipped face down? It does not. So it doesn't. Oh, find... Search for that card. It's using the power of the Yu-Gi-Oh card being database. You can make this work, not. <laughs> and then you can make... 
whatever that card is that banishes a face at monster you control and one that they control. What's that one called? It's a continuous spell. I know what you're talking about. It's right. called Different Dimension Gate. Ah, yeah. okay. And also just super transformation. You just t- keep taking things. Yeah. Um, but so Shadow Ceiling, that's Shadow Ceiling. It's the only one that can affect disease, so I guess that's It's kind of depressing having a Shadow Ceiling. Yeah. Because you look up and you you don't see you don't you just see darkness. <laughs> <laughs> what a pun! Mm. <laughs> and by the way, it's seal like our art. Not. Uh, no. It's ceiling. What a, a ceiling? What? It's like a baby seal. A ceiling. No. no, 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 no. There's the ceiling, which is like a literal ceiling. Yeah. And then there's ceiling, like I'm gonna I'm gonna put you. in I know box, you seal. I know I can seal you. But, uh, but is it, is, it, is, huh? Would a baby uh, seal be a ceiling? No, it's not. Called <laughs> <laughs> like a seal cup. That's a, that's yeah, a it pup. is a cup. Seal pup or a pup? Oh, oh yes, a pup. puppy. Clubbing baby seals in a video game. They did it, and they looked adorable. But uh, Ninja's Art of Transformation. Regular transformation. They should have really, really made their names more different. They really should have. Ninjutsu. I should have called it Ninjutsu Art of Really Transforming. <laughs> For real this time. No, they should have called it. The original one should have been called Ninjutsu Art of Normal Transformation. <laughs> that way, whenever we say normal transformation, it's actually normal transformation. Ah, uh, yes. That would have been good. But how would have they have known? It wouldn't have. But uh, normal transformation is also important. They could have just not called it super transformation. They shouldn't have. They could, they could have called it henge, which is, I assume, the Japanese word for transform. Yeah. And then they could have called the Japanese one Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. Yeah. That would be Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. transformation. <laughs> That's what I would call it. It'd be like the Gishki thing. Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. A Gishki summon. But, uh, oh, our bad job. Continuous trap. Tribute one face of ninja monster you control. Special summon a beast, winged beast, or insect from your oh monster with a level less than or equal to the level of the tributed card plus three from your hand or deck. And then when this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. So same uh same like where if this card gets removed, it kills it. But fortunately it now just sends it to the graveyard. Yeah, and at the same time so if the monster leaves it stays once again. Mm-hmm. Um this one summons a higher level than the tribute monster. Be only tribute one monster and not your opponents. So this one summons beaters more often. Mm-hmm. It summons beaters. You don't have to rely on your opponent to have anything. You can do this essentially to protect your Hanzo if you attack into something and for some reason oh, they activate so something good. that attacks that targets your Hanzo. If they target Hanzo, like you deeper than oh transform. Mm-hmm. Uh, much more effective. When they don't know you have regular transformation. Yeah. Because um, if they activate it to, like, scare your Hanzo away, they're silly people. Yeah, well, like, one thing I like to do is, uh, when I know, like, I got, I'm running a ninja deck with ninjas in it, mm-hmm. some form, and I'm like, oh crap, I'm gonna, like, lose if Hanzo gets, like, Valored right here, kind of thing, right? Mm-hmm. So you, you set the transformation in your hand first, ah, and you end yes. your turn, and then next turn you summon it, and they're like, they go Valor, and then you transform in response. Mm hmm. That's so that it attributes it so he doesn't get Valored. Um, another thing is that uh, if you do that, they yeah. can't bottomless the monster you summon with... With it, yes. Uh, regular transformation. Because bottomless... Tons is effectable, resolve last. Mm-hmm. And bottomless is a when you can garbledy gook. So it's only when the last thing happened was the summon of a 1500 attack over a monster. Yep. And uh, one other ruling for this card is that this one tributes as a cost, so upon activation, the ninja goes away. Mm-hmm. Super transformation, it keeps the ninjas until resolution. Mm-hmm. So if anything goes wrong, if they chain, you know, MST to this, then you don't get anything. And you tributed your ninja. And you tributed your ninja, yeah. Whereas super transformation, you're kind of safe from that happening. They just kind of get rid of super transformation. And, and again, you still so they, they're huh? safe from having their monster force be tributed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. Because it'd be kind of crazy if you could just take their monster anyway, so then they MST and they're like, well, I still lost my monster. Mm-hmm. It's even worse didn't... for me now, technically. Yeah, I minus from one. that. I shouldn't have minus from that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so mm-hmm. it does not force me to take it. Mm-hmm. So it's just one for one. But uh, obviously, these two cards give ninjas synergy with any deck running one of six types. 
the goods. You get, you get to think about ninjas as an option. So what? It doesn't include Beast Warrior. Mm -hmm. It doesn't include Thunder. Warrior, Spellcaster, uh, Fiend, Zombie. Fish. Fish. Is Fish a type? Aqua. <sighs> fish is dumb. Fish, Aqua. Agua. How are there so many types? There are a lot of types. Psychic. Rock. So that's a type. Rock. Ten types. They they have some warrior synergy in general because they are warriors. Are warriors. So they run with warriors. They anyway. already are warriors. Some already are. So nine types. How many types are total? Do you get twenty three? I think so. That seems like a lot. But uh, let's go. You got three times seven. 22 types, counting Divine Beast. Okay. Uh, we forgot about Reptile, uh, Plant, Machine, uh, Pyro, Fairy. I forgot Pyro's in his head. And we forgot those ones. And Divine Beast. And Divine Beast. They could transform into plants or rocks. Basically, I thought about, like, anything earthy. So they trans one that I forgot not, what I wanted to name. Not Machine, not Fairy, not Fiend. They transform into plants all the time. Dupe, I mean, uh, Decoy. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not transforming. That's They just have logs. Oh, yeah. True. They borrow a page from the Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to call it. I wanted them to have one that was going to be like Ninjutsu Art of Burial or something. Mm -hmm. That summoned plants or zombies from the graveyard. Or rocks. Or rocks, why not? <laughs> that would be super awesome. <laughs> Tribute a ninja, summon a zombie plant or rock. Or a number of zombie or something. Oh, equal uh, to its level. From or the lower graveyard. Combined level, yeah. Mm. And then they'd make... What I, the plan was they'd make a level 3 zombie ninja <laughs> monster. <laughs> Damn so that, ninja. Like if you tributed a level 6 ninja mm -hmm. with it, you'd summon two of it. Mm -hmm. And you'd do something with them, I don't know. A card would be way too crazy. You could summon dandelion and a tuner or spore. Who cares? You had to set that up so hard. <laughs> you can just call the haunted the monsters anyway. So you'd have to somehow make it better than call the haunted. Better than Call of the Hunter. That's why it's okay that it summons more than one, because it's more difficult to do. Hmm. That would be totally cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. You always you summon one plant, and your extra evil thorn by the side of it. Ooh, <laughs> That's always what you do. Thorn, yes. Free mm. so I can be, Well, not free. Well, it's pretty free. It's pretty free. Yeah. For what it does, it's basically free. But, no, oh, yeah, that reminds me of the, the... I remember I said I had a really bad rabbit idea. Hmm. The bad rabbit idea was this. I was like, because now you can use Rescue Rabbit to go until rank one. Mm -hmm. So now it's reasonable to run six level one normals. It is? No, it's not. It, <laughs> hear me out. Uh, <laughs> in my volcanic deck, I could run three volcanic rats and three blazing impachis. They are all level one pyros that can be sent to the graveyard with Blaze Accelerator. Okay. And okay. so now you can run ra rabbit and there's like mega troll with. Uh, slacker magicians. Mm -hmm. Lots of slacker magicians. Do some dumpty dump, then so, do some. Uh, let me get this straight. You summon your, you set your twenty one under defense monster, and then you set your other twenty one under defense monster. And once your opponent has attacked into both of them, you overlay them for slacker magician. You could for your other twenty one under defense. Yeah. Well, no, exactly. I, I only sent him on as last worst case scenario because I just sent him to graveyard for blazing accelerator. How I much just, does he have? Twenty one under defense or twenty two? Twenty one. And like. Zero attack, maybe a hundred. I mean, yeah, probably like hundred. Defense gets in there. I'm not all his attack. And then volcanic away. rat is five hundred, five hundred, whatever. No, you meant charcoal and patchy. Oh, charcoal and patchy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Blazing and patchy is over four. Blazing yeah. and patchy. It's like eighteen fifty attack. I like that they did those things. Zero defense. Yeah, those are nice. But uh, <sighs> so I could run rabbit, and then they like fuel. I would always get to summon raw forest storm cards. Always. Mm -hmm. So many cards. And then, then you could potentially, like, if they don't attack Random Shell that you set in defense, you could make something now. <laughs> like, you can get out of that uh, with a volcanic rat and a shell. Mm. What the shell? Ugh. But, uh, sorry, that was the bad idea. You try I had to get that out of the way. No, I'll no. try it eventually. Back to ninjas. So, they can't be run with those. Yet! Hmm? Oh, they, all, they can be run with volcanics. In the next set, just cause. Wait a minute. I get that card. Oh, oh that was it. The so dragon. De yeah. So depressing. Yeah. Rabbit can't be summoned from the deck. No. So oh, yeah. That'd yeah, be crazy. Yeah. yeah. It can't be summoned from the deck, but it can be summoned from the hand or graveyard or banish zone. That, wait, can transformation summon from the hand? No. Yeah. Transformation? What? Normal transformation can also summon from the hand. Oh, things that I didn't actually know. Uh, 
That's usually totally irrelevant, but that makes <laughs> that makes the people who run uh, Apex AV Index a little more happy. Mm. Um, yeah, just a little more. Just a little bit. Uh, so we don't even have to talk about what to run alongside of Transformation or Super Transformation because there's another awesome ninja that we can talk about. Mm-hmm. Which is, is no. <laughs> I'm in a weird congestion right now. It's because it's cold. Congestion. I'll close this window. Window. It's like my. I don't feel cold, but like my nose in the back of my nose. Mm. It is just really obnoxious, and my neck is like super stiff. Good, you're catching my sickness. Good. So, upstart golden ninja. Upstart gold. It's a light level 4 warrior, 500 attack, 1800 defense, once per turn. You can send one trap card from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon one level 4 lower ninja monster from your deck and face up defense or face down defense position. Face down, I didn't know that. Yeah, but it's usually irrelevant. There's only like a couple. That Wait a minute. Good. What? Aw, oh, dang it. Senior uh, Silver, I wanted it face down. Mm. It's all for lore. I know. Uh, that can, there's only like one that that usually will matter again with, is which is Sazank, right? Yep. Sazank! But in which case, you might as well not do that. You just add Hanzo, use Hanzo to add it, and then set it. Mm. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. But no, this card. Good this card. This card just requires experience. That's all I can say. I I couldn't believe how good it. It's so easy. It's funny because it's so easy. Even it's so ninja could bad do. when you first try because you just like you just don't know what to be doing with it. You're like, why would I want to get rid of my ninjutsu arts? They're so good. It's hard to. You don't know what situation. Like you don't want to like. Mm-hmm. Special when you special an Addis in hand, you feel entitled to summon it, and just like throw down your cards. Mm -hmm. You just have to know exactly when to do it and why you're running it. Mm -hmm. no, and really if you don't, exactly it'll just feel do. like it's a horrible card because mm -hmm. it'll continually put you in a place you don't want to be at. Yeah, you're you're so what you do is you discard a trap, any trap card, and then you special summon a Hanzo basically from your deck. And Hanzo you, adds itself. You add adds the gold. Upstart Gold Ninja or another light level four ninja, yeah. another another level four ninja. Assume assumedly you're running one that's light because there's not a whole lot of other ones. No, is not. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, so immediately having this and a Hanzo on the field, you can go into Warrior Rank fours. You can go to Excalibur, Excalibur Blade Armor Ninja, and Gandiva. Yes, Gandiva, and soon. So Excalibur becomes a 4,000 attack monster, Blade Armor Ninja can attack twice, and what does Gandiva do? I don't really uh, know. When an opponent new, right? special summons a level 4 lower monster, once per turn you can destroy it. You can use Upstart Gold Your Ninja champions. to summon Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, and then go into that fo new Photon monster. You can do that too. You could also go into a Constellar monster. Constellar. That requires two lights. Yeah. yeah. Mm, I don't remember what it is, though. Rank 4 from Stellar. Like I thought they were all, like, rank 5 and above. No, there's a rank 4 so that you can just it's really good. up. I know that it just, like, doesn't die. That's what it does. It's like, if your opponent activates a spell trap, you can activate its effect, and it's not affected this turn. Right, can you overlay Miser 7 over any Constellar? Yeah. Yep. Oh! Oh, no! They... <laughs> so, Miser 7 is, like, any two level 6 monsters... And then the rank four and rank five and like rank three constellar monsters all have more constricting uh, requirements, more restricting. Oh no. no! So like, ooh, constellar the rank is three light. is two level three light monsters. The rank five is two level five light monsters, and we, we don't, don't have the four yet. We don't have the four. We have to go to dual network to look at it. I'll do that. Depressing. No. I don't be able to find it here. But Super uh. Birth. Oh yeah, we get. Oh yeah, another thing that makes the next thing good, the next hidden arsenal good is Paul. Say, Constellar Polymus, Polyma, Polymetheus, Polymus Miser Seven. This is just a really good rank six. Oh, I forgot that this is coming out in the same pack as Diagusta yep. Emerald. Yep. Gosh dang it! That's but uh, yeah, it's just any Constellar monster you, you can will just not put it be on top. unhappy to. Hold up. But uh, here's the monster he's talking about. Constellar Omega. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach. One exceeds material from this card. This turn, all face up. Constellar monsters you control. 
are unaffected by spell and trap cards. Currently control. Which is crazy. 24. 24. What? Oh, gosh. And Beast Warrior. Gosh, I need to... Yeah, so it gets boosted. That's what makes the Constellar deck like really good. Mm. One of the cards. There's lots of cards that make it good. But so it's affected by all like the ten key and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's just like boosted. But then it's unaffected by him. So no, that's true. It's but it still gets boosted. Yeah. So. Yeah. If anything happens, you just detach. Oh and no, none of them are going to do. Darko, up. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Wait, does that effect stay in effect even if it's not there anymore? How would it get off the field? You overlay for Miser Seven. Oh uh, uh, yeah, it, it's uh, still the it would not right? affect Miser Seven. Because it says uh, on the field, it, it when protects it's all currently, uh, all all consular monster you currently control. Yeah. So you could also do that if you're running Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, which is another what level four handy. light warrior monster. Yeah. Ninja. No effect. No effect. No. Hey man, it's hey got man. an effect. It does. It nukes face up defense position. Oh, that that was right. Yeah, I was gonna make sure you didn't have no Reaper, no no Marshmallow. That's right. Uh, uh, but uh, Han- Hanzo with Upstar Gold Ninja, are essentially the the staple ninjas. Mm. I've come to a place where I always run two Gold Ninjas now. Mm-hmm. I've running... never seen like all the time I do you. I've never seen you like use it because I don't need to. Like I mean, it's like you just you pile them up because you special Hanzos a lot, mm-hmm. so you just get them in your hand. And then you're out of Hanzos. Yeah, and somehow. you save, or you're out of Hanzos, or you, you're saving the play, mm-hmm. and sometimes you just don't need it. Yeah. The play, the play armor. A one card rank four. Like, it's not one card, but I mean, you only need the upstart gold in a trap. Mm-hmm. It's not that hard to just have a trap in your hand. Because oh, once you start really kind of generating cards with the ninjas, the traps start to become less and less valuable. Yeah. They still remain good. Like, especially if you're mixing, the traps become less valuable because you start getting those, like, types on the field that aren't ninjas. Yeah. But if you're running, mm. if you're running, like, pure ninjas, you're gonna have ninjas on the field all the time, so the traps become, you know, they still maintain their value. Yeah. Some of the ninjas you wanna just keep there once they're there. Yeah, you get to this, like, the game state. Like, that's especially with, like, I was running the Heraldic Beast. Mm -hmm. You get to, like, either a game state where there's no targets left for one in the deck. To where, like, you can... And then you potentially are returning them in hand anyway. Mm-hmm. But at that point, you start keeping them in your hand, and, like, they're more, like, scary to the opponent because they think you have them, mm-hmm. but you can't use them anymore. And then you, that's when you start just throwing them away. Because mm-hmm. you got them back for free, and now you want to summon an Xyz monster really quickly. Yep. All right, let's talk about Mass Ninja NPC. No. No. No, still not, we're still not even done with, with Upstar Gold Ninja. Oh, but the plays. So the, that's the simple play. You just make a quick rank four. Specifically okay. Excalibur most of the time, mm. or another one that answers your thing. But then there's the play, which is Monster Born slash Call of the Haunted plus a trap card. Mm. Oh. <laughs> all right. Enlighten so, all the people so who would think that Upstar Gold is bad. Why his play is like amazing. So first off, it's really easy to get Hanzo in the Great Bird. We all know that. Mm-hmm. He just goes there by himself. We spent about 20 minutes, half an hour, talking about how easy it is to just put him in the graveyard already. Yeah, and uh, so at that point, if you get Call the Haunted or Monster Born, you can Call or Monster Born him. And then when he comes back, you add up Star Gold Ninja, and then you summon that, and then you discard the trap, and then you get the Hanzo, and you get another Gold Ninja. So essentially all you've done is... Use the Call of the Haunted, and the Gupstar Gold is still in your hand, and you discard a trap. Mm-hmm. And then you can just Xyz for a triple rank four, which is Shockmaster. Or Violon to Sigma. Or to Sigma, yeah. To Very Sigma. important to remember that. <laughs> if your opponent lives that long, they'll be open to that play. Well, that's not that's even not, that long. That's not even hard. You can just have that. That's like, oh, crap. It's... Like, the first turn you summon Hanzo, mm-hmm. your next turn you just summon Shockmaster. <laughs> oh. It's so... It happens. Easy. Like, And then it happens enough... That we have considered a Vylon to Sigma. <laughs> which uh, you might not, you probably don't know what that does. No one remembers. When I, I looked through, I was like, man, I need something better. I'm glad you remember that, too. And I, so I looked through my extra deck of things and I, like, passed it really quickly. Because I always just, like, pass it because I don't care. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, wait a minute. I was like, this is good. But uh, it's the triple rank 4, 2500 attack, 2100 defense. Once returned, detach an Xyz material from this card to target a face-up attack position, affect monster your opponent controls, equip that target to this card. I mean, that alone is good. But then, 
At the start of the damage step, if this card battles a monster whose attribute is the same as a card equipped to this card, destroy that monster. So you can task doors with any monster of the same type as the equipped. Yes. And you can have up to three infinite. cards. Like, I mean... Well, that's technically all, infinite. That's especially all five. in beasts. Yeah. That's all very, like, good. Those combos are great. But I don't feel... That's a, that's a good standalone play. But when you think about combos with, like, the deck, like, what are you going to do with, like, the upstart gold ninja that you just added to your hand? Because you have, like, no ninja target left. We're, we haven't even... We haven't even... Okay, no, no, but... but the, there's an Xyz monster you can summon that combos with that F-Star Gold Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> what, I'm excited to see what you're going to say now. What do you think I'm going to say? I have no idea. Illuminate. You discard it and draw another card. What? Fine. Yeah, great. Take that nasty... <laughs> That's like a nag. That's that bad. Point. That's <laughs> it really, must be. really bad. It's not a nag. You Ooh. said it yourself. You, That's not a nag. You are a, you are a pro, sir. Yeah, I am. You gave up Shockmaster, <laughs> Mylon to Sigma, Excalibur, Blade Armor Ninja, yeah. Maestroke, everybody's favorite, for Illuminite. Yeah. And then I drew a card by discarding a card. You, sir, are smart. Your mind is like a diamond. <laughs> it is cold it is hard, and it is brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that is true. That is one of the cards I immediately passed and didn't give the time of day. What? I looked at it, and I was like, I can, and I won't. <laughs> no. They should have given Illuminate 2600 attack. Yeah, at least. At least. At least. You can summon... No, you can't. We'll go through. I feel like there's another like triple rank four. Or you can summon Diamond Dire, Dire Wolf. Uh, there's a Gaga Giga the reason. No. Mm. You do Diamond Dire Wolf, and then you, you can summon use big guy, use Excalibur. Wait, wait, go back to Diamond Dire Wolf. I want to see the fight. No, you can't use Dire Wolf. You, oh, that's what it is. You can summon Heroic Champion Kusanagi, Kusanagi. at that point. Uh, and then he, if during once per turn during the other player's turn, when a trap is activated, you can detach, negate it, and he gains 500 attack. Right, Kusanagi. Why can't you use Diamond Dire? Wolf? Why would you? You don't have any beasts or beast warriors. You want to turn all that nonsense into the biggest exile force ever? You can also summon Shark Drake. Shark Drake was the one I was thinking of. To do, he's like the beater of them all, I guess. To do Mass lots of damage. Full damage. At least 4,000 damage. And then there's Thunder Spark Dragon, which destroys everything. All other face up monsters in the field, essentially. Mm. Yes. There's Shark Drake Weiss. And there's One Eyed Skill Gainer. Oh, no. No, that card's better than I thought. I looked at it again, and I was like, okay. So it takes... that. It's permanently that Xyz monster's name. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. It permanently becomes that Xyz monster, except it has 2,500 attack. Mm-hmm. And then, again, it, like, I was confused at first. It says this effect can only be used once while it's face on the field. I was like, oh, this is bad, because it's got three materials, so it's such a waste. But then it doesn't matter, because you never want to use that again, because you're another monster now. Mm-hmm. Now you can use that monster's effect. Mm-hmm. But they have to have an Xyz monster for it to matter. Okay. And it's a little weak. It's like, it's still not that good. Uh, but it's better. Only if twenty six would be worth it. Because I'd rather just summon Thunder Spark Dragon and just blow everything up. What are you going to do when they have a Tears? What are you going to do? Get that skill gainer. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Get this. Buy it on the, the, the Sigma. Sigma. Yeah. Take it. He, he handles Tears quite nice. Or uh, Excalibur. Excalibur! Kill that tears the old fashioned way. Kill but uh, so they got all those. They got lots of, there's lots of options right there, which is good. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with stealing an opponent's monster, getting a four thousand attack monster, be uh, stealing an opponent's name, locking playing down. a mime, playing a mime for a little bit, you know. discarding the card and drawing. <laughs> I can't argue with that statement. There is no way that it is possible. There is nothing wrong with discarding a card and drawing. Yeah, exactly. When it's at, at the cost of dismissing such greater effects, <laughs> that is what the problem is. And it, it's a card that you don't even want. It's got, it's weaker than, like, the one that you could summon with two. Ugh. Or no, Ugh. you could set up Chaos Sorcerer, d- detach the Hanzo, discard the Gold Ninja, draw a card. You could have just brought back... Okay, so you could just bring back Hanzo, <laughs> add Ninja, summon it, 
Summon Excalibur and detach them both. Now up there we go. You have now entered into the realm of running Black Luster Soldier. And Chaos Monsters. <laughs> and Chaos Monsters. Which, well, what do you know? They have lots of synergy with ninjas. Oh, no way. And Tour Guide. Yep, because you banish stuff. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Oh, yeah, you didn't even know it was on the did you? Or did you? No? You summoned the yeah, ninja. Yeah, you summoned the Gold yeah. Ninja, yeah. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with next turn getting a Hanzo and an Upstar Gold Ninja. Or, an or reviving the Upstar Gold Ninja. Yeah, you, yeah. Must, you must run a lot of ninjas to just keep on surging. Mm, no, you, you can run, like, three... What I randomly did in one of my decks was run, like, three Hanzo, three Upstar Gold Ninja, Tour Guide, maybe a Sangan, and then, like, Chaos stuff, and it worked. It does work, yeah. It worked. I've tried different variations of it. Most of them are effective. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, he the... was talking about his Crystal Beast deck that just stopped caring about Crystal Beast and his ninja. The Crystal Beasts and the ninjas thinned the deck so that I would always draw the Chaos Monsters. Yeah. That's why that was a thing. But, uh, yes. There's also some other ninjas that are reasonable. Uh, Chaos Monsters, all two of them. Red Dragon Ninja is really, really good. Mm -hmm. I don't I can't say that any more than I. I can't stress you that can't anymore. Overstate. Yeah, that Outstate. it's just really, really good. Uh, and that, and then Strike Ninja and Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. Those are the only two that I would ever think of running. Mm. Sasuke because it's light and it's more attack than Upstar Gold Ninja. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, nah. I thought about that. You have to do something really specialized. There's three Karakuri Ninja monsters. And you have to be, like, super specialized to do something worth it with them. But I don't know what it is yet. They're seeing your Silver Ninja. No. Nope. So, Strike Ninja's the <laughs> other one. <laughs> wow. Strike Ninja's the other one. Like, Senior Silver Ninja's really cool. Disavowed. But it's just, like, it's just so... It's just, if you want to have lots of fun, run that card. You put all your eggs into the Senior Silver basket. Yeah. You, you've already completed Ninja training. Mm -hmm. So we don't even have to talk. We're, not, even, we're not talking about that podcast. Yeah, this is like post training ninjas. Mm. Where you do now whatever you, you now want. you're jumping across rooftops. Oh. You're like a you're like a ninja master now. You yeah. do whatever you want. He does whatever he wants. But no. I think upstart gold ninja's in the picture of senior silver ninja. Because hmm. he's on the roof and he's like peeking out. We look at the oh, maybe not. More. Or is it upstart gold is on the picture of some other card? He's on because he's on a rooftop. Or there's just a like ninja in the background going like, hey. Someone's going to assassinate Upstar Gold Ninja. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I don't even want... I really don't want to talk about Senior Silver Ninja. Neither do I. But, uh... Ibisu? Red Dragon Ninja on the other hand is really, really good. What about Western Tibisu and Go Go the Gallant Ninja? We can let you talk about those. Let <laughs> okay, fine. Fine, I'll do it. Continue. Right now? Okay. So, there is a combo that when Konami came out with all the ninjas, which was Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo and, and uh, Gold Ninja, they also came out with this ninja called Mass Ninja Abisu. Level 4, wind, 1200 attack, 1800 defense. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so, its effect is, once per turn, if you control a face-up ninja monster other than Mass Ninja Abisu, you can activate this effect. Return a number of your opponent's spell or trap cards to the hand equal to the number of ninja monsters you control. Also, every face-up Go-Go the Gallant Ninja you control can attack your opponent directly this turn. So, the thing that you need to be aware of when you're using this card is that it's not up to the number of ninjas you control, it's exactly how many ninjas you control. So, the the optimal thing to do with it is do you have only one ninja, other ninja, which is Go-Go. What? Oh, uh... Have one other ninja, which is Gogo, -Go, and then when you summon Mass Ninja Bisu, when Gogo's -Go's on the field, you activate his effect, and then you get to return two spell or traps, and then Mass Ninja, I mean, uh, then Gogo -Go can attack directly, and then Gogo's effect, in case you didn't know, he came out way earlier. He's pretty cool, too. They're both throwing money to this guy. <laughs> yeah. They're like the Robin Hoods of ninjas. And they're like really standout-ish, which is like all they the don't look like ninjas. All the ninjas are like scorning them. Go go has fifteen hundred attack, a thousand defense. Also, win level four warrior. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, your opponent must discard two random cards. Your opponent must have at least five cards in their hand for you to activate and resolve this effect. 
So Ibisu's purpose is to let Gogo attack directly, and he returns spell traps to the hand so they'll have more in their hand. So when you actually use uh, his effect, uh, you'll be able to do the five disc, the five discard two because they'll have just returned two cards to their hand. Um, that's one combo. And they're also both wins, so you can summon Jidori. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and you somehow, there's like no way to get him on the field. That's the problem. Yeah. It's like a multi-stage plan. Then, called the haunted ones. So the ninja yeah. that everyone chooses to forget, Lady Ninja, yay. 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 Level three. Live under attack, two hundred defense. Warrior Wind. By discarding one monster by discarding one wind monster from your hand to the graveyard, you return all spell trap cards your opponents on your opponent's side of the field to the owner's hand. I don't know. That, I feel like that effect's really powerful. Like you can't like take advantage of it because usually this thing takes up your normal summon. It's talking about like live for more than one turn, but uh, in like a dark Simorg deck or a deck where you don't want them to have like any spell trap cards on the field, like in, it's it's best for dark Simorg because dark you summon yeah. dark Simorg. You want them to have nothing so they can't reset them. Yeah, when and you then dark you set something like jerkish like transformation. Like transformation, well, I mean, said that doesn't work because it's all three. Yep. It, it, no. doesn't, it doesn't return your stuff to the field. If it returned field. my stuff, I'd already be running this card. Um, <laughs> so sadly, you can't think of any exploits to do with it. But you Other can, than dark similar. with dark similar, you, you can already have stuff really jerk stuff like a uh, uh, anti spell fragrance set, <laughs> and then you can just activate it when it comes their turn, so they will literally almost be able to not do anything with spells and traps. Sounds like a con. Con? Con. Well, this is not Star Trek. No, like, you're conning them out of their back row. Oh, yeah, I guess. What a blue dragon The ninja. listeners got what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, blue did. dragon ninja. What did, I, what did I say? Another one of the forgotten ninjas. Con- She's been forgotten. Kanye. Uh, Lady Ninja Kanye. Uh, you're cutting into do. my time. <laughs> <laughs> so, Blue Dragon Ninja, Kyle says he's not forgotten. I beg to differ. No one ever. No one, if you ask the average Yu Gi Oh! duelist, they don't even know what this card does. Oh, yeah. They're not even I barely n- know what it does. It's irrelevant, though. What does it do? Uh, oh, uh, you discard a Ninjutsu art card and a Ninja monster. Once per turn, to target a monster, your opponent controls the counter attack, and its effect is negated to the end phase. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, why am I talking about this again? <laughs> Oh, because he's a forgotten ninja, and he, he deserves his own limelight. Why? Uh, the last ninja podcast, we didn't like talk about any of the bad ninjas. We don't like to talk about bad cards. We're, we're trained. <laughs> Yo, that is, that is, that's just ignorant. When we train them, they're bad ninjas. <laughs> you ignorant, bro. You ignorant. You're ignorant. <laughs> you don't want to use bad ninjas. Prove that they're bad by using them and saying that I used it. It's bad. I didn't say he was bad. I know, he's not bad. But he is mediocre. He has a purpose. What's the purpose? But I guess we're going to use that to go to talk about Now moving on. a brief moment, uh, I'll talk about why. I'm, oh, it's I don't mind this it's what it is. Hey, wait, no, what are you saying? I, I'll speak now. <laughs> uh, the, the purpose... <laughs> okay, no, the, the purpose of this card... Like, uh, it's not very good at its job. What's its job? Its job is to be the lowest level monster that is still a ninja you can summon with super transformation. You're going to take something. Yeah. You are guaranteed to take something. And when you do, you, you can, can always summon this. Yes. Oh my and God. the idea is that when you do that, you can still transform with the thing you transformed with. So, like, you transform into this and you can still transform using this. Uh, so that means you can set, like, double super transformation and still control the field. Um, and essentially, you just you're okay with the fact that its effect is unusable. <laughs> it's not unusable. It's not unusable, but it's like so. This is like forget so the pa- hard. forget the panic button. You were getting good to the escape hatch, and you were like, if pressing. it happens, if you pull this effect off, like I'm sure it'll happen. The problem is that the there's there's like a tier. You were of times where this effect up will by using this effect. Well, like, what monsters are they going to summon? Whole, that they then, if their effects are negated, cannot attack over this with. They can't attack with it. They can't? No. Good. Good. But no. Um, That's how little I knew about when this you card. Use it. 
Yeah, when you use this effect, you are saying to your opponent, what you're doing is so threatening that I must minus two myself to not even, like, take away, take it away. Just make it so you can't do it for that turn. You think I'm going to Veiler that once? <laughs> nah, I'm going to Veiler it twice. <laughs> yeah. What? That's what you're doing. You're discarding two cards. You're veiling it. <laughs> yeah. You're veiling it twice just uh, to make sure it doesn't. So you're use using effect. effect veiler and attack veiler, which is coming out two packs from now. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, that'd be interesting. Another card you can discard. That one monster can't attack this turn. It's yeah. like you just like change it to defense mode. Yeah. That'd be good. Wait, can you do that from your hand? No. Oh. No, it's attack veiler. It's not a real card, by the way. Mm. I'll inform you all that this card, Justin speaks of, is fake. <laughs> Isn't there one that changes a monster's battle position? 80 changer, only during your turn. Uh, uh, they're right, listeners. The card I just said was fake, and it's not a real card. But uh, So, back to Blue Dragon Ninja. The point is that you want... If you're running a pure ninja deck, there's no reason to run this in a non-pure ninja deck, because if you're running Super Transformation, there's something you want to summon, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something that you have specified. So there's... It's not... That's not the point. Then in a pure ninja deck, the point is that you use it as a control card. It's not the monster you summon at all. You don't care about the monster. You just want to control their cards. Mm -hmm. So if you lose a ninja, off, if the ninja goes out the board, all your transformations now become dead. Mm -hmm. And if it's a pure ninja deck, you want to run as many ninja arts as possible because that gives you more plays. And then so when you transform, you want to summon a ninja. And this is the best ninja you could possibly summon with Super Transformation. Mm -hmm. Not that, well, White Dragon Ninja is really good. But you can only feasibly run one. Since you can't special summon it, except with Ninjutsu Arts. All right. And if you draw it, you're just owned. I think we have insulted the listener, listeners enough. I like help. it. I tested it. The only problem with it is when you draw it. Don't draw this. Use whatever powers at your disposal to not draw this. Yeah. If, if, it, if it involves stacking, then so be it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I guess we'll talk about... Or Adam Corn. Adam yeah, Adam, it. the Adam Corn method. But no, uh, <laughs> talk about, like, the combos that made you want to do another podcast. Huh? Well, the, the, the blanket chaos engine of Upstart, Gold, Hanzo, and... Like, essentially, like... Oh, there's also just Summoner Monk. You can do Summoner Monk. You want to do Dark Turbo. Mm -hmm. You want to just turbo into dark monsters, you can. Yeah. Because like, you can do Strike Ninja in that case. Mm -hmm. Monk, discard spell, into Hanzo, add Strike Ninja. Strike Ninja actually it definitely works. Strike Ninja, control for some dark armed. Yeah. And it's just a nice, like, it's like Wind Up Rabbit, where it's just, like, really retarded. Mm -hmm. DJ Retard. Set up for Tour Guide, yeah, set up for DDR if you're running it. Oh, yeah, that makes DDR so nice. Mm -hmm. But, uh, also, Red Dragon Ninja makes DDR really nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Red Dragon Ninja. So good. I don't, I don't. If you were running normal transformation in a deck, you should run one Red Dragon Ninja. That that's how good it is. Card is annoying. Uh, people are like they don't like even if they know you're running, they're never like thinking oh because because my deck's not based around it. Mm -hmm. So they like they do things and then you can all if you have one, you can always get it. You can <laughs> always have it. It's like, oh, there's Hans in the Graveyard, Monster Born, add Red Dragon into Tribute Summon. Mm. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, if you, you can just summon Hanzo and have a transformation face down. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, that you summon Upstart Gold Ninja, and they're like, effect, and you're like, uh, they Veiler it. And it'll miss the timing again if you do it wrong. So if you chain to Veiler, it'll miss the timing, and you're like, oh, he's dead. So then you transform into this, and now, like, oh, cool. Mm. It's okay now. Yeah, this guy. Uh, but, uh, when he's summoned, at all, uh, you can banish one ninja or ninjutsu art card from your graveyard, target a set card, your opponent controls, reveal that card, then return it to either the top or bottom of the deck. And then your opponent cannot activate the targeted card in response to this effect's activation. And then you can only use the effect of Red Dragon Ninja once per turn. Awesome. It's level 6, 2400 attack. Winged Beast. Level 6 fire. Um, I think they did that on purpose. Yep. They give you the stuff you want in the pack before you need Basil it. Croc. Basila Trice. Basila Trice. Why are you calling it Basila Trice now? It's Basila Cock. Basila Cock. Basila Croc. It's a croc ability. But, uh, this card, yeah. I don't know. I've, like... It's been testing good. It's been testing ridiculous good. It's just too... Power like, it's funny because after you, like, essentially you stop them from setting up, because that's what they're doing when they're setting cards. They're setting up. And then you reveal what their setup is attempting to do. And you can either ruin it completely by putting the card on the bottom of their deck, 
or further slow them down by putting it on top. Mm-hmm. What and do you then, think you're going to do with that card? Yeah, Set I love it, it when you like return to something that just makes it pointless. Mm-hmm. Like, people have like the annoying tendency early game now to just like set one or two cards. Yeah. And just like do nothing for the longest time until you set off their card. Oh. But then and then on top of that, so now you've ruined them. <laughs> now you have a twenty four hundred attack monster. I don't even know how many times after ruining someone how difficult it is for them to from being ruined bounce mm-hmm. back to beating over a twenty four hundred attack monster. Mm-hmm. That's really difficult. Because they can't just get two cards on the field to exceed. Yeah. They have to do two things. And at that point, you might just have a super transformation face down, and they always forget that it's a ninja. <laughs> they will. Al- they always do it, because it threatened them like it's not a ninja. Mm-hmm. It did like, something good. Like, it's threatening them in ways that aren't transformation, so they're focused on that. Mm-hmm. And so, mm-hmm. they start doing things like, oh, I gotta make a bigger monster in their deck. Can only, like, Xyz over it, or Synchro over it. Mm-hmm. And then, or oh, they... Oh, please, Synchro. Or they, like, start doing things like, oh, uh, uh like... Uh, deeper zone the attack and it's like oh transformation and mm-hmm. then like it's gone and then so they start doing things that force them into a place where if you super transform it's like really bad <laughs> and then then they're just like oh and then when you transform it it just goes to the grave where it's even easier to summon back <laughs> so you only need the one that's and then that's when you when call gets good call gets really good because and then since like you said or I said you were talking about DDR mm-hmm. this card makes DDR way better because it banishes a ninja or if you just don't have one in Ninjutsu art. So it's really versatile with that, too. But you banish the ninja, so it p- supports DDR. Mm-hmm. So that even if you're running one, if it, it gets banished, you can special summon it and get its effect. So just you only need one ever. Mm-hmm. And you're lowering the number of cards your opponent has, forcing them to draw Garbo, forcing them to lose monsters to very the quickly. To make bad plays. And you get to tap down. Spiral. <laughs> yep. You have some extra cards. You can discard them for it's DDR. Like it's like elusive bad. and... It's limiting their options and expanding yours. And yeah. ironically, kind of fueling more for the Red Dragon Ninja if you're discarding ninjas, ninjas or, yeah. or arts. It gets them in... It, it has this really awkward control mm. that people... Like, that's not, it's not what I thought was going to happen with it. When I saw it, mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, that's really good!" Like it's just a, like minus a uh, plus one, right? Essentially, it's like a Caius mm-hmm. in a way, but it, it was totally different than that because it's a control mechanism mm-hmm. where you control what your opponent is like allowed to do for a really long time. It's like two of their turns you get to choose their their course of action. It's an incredible sniper card. Yeah, look at him; he's sniping mm-hmm. with his phoenix. I've waited for this. Go. So, so I don't know where we were before that. We were basically talking about the ninjas that they've made that aren't Hanzo and other oh. go. We've talked about like all of the ninjas now that One are more. relevant. There's all strike ninja, right? No, white dragon ninja. White dragon ninja. White. Yeah. This card, I, I want. I like it because I. Whenever it happens, it's just like the best thing ever. The problem is when it doesn't happen, it's so bad. I think this card will get better with harpies. Well, good Why? with harpies, because so I've run harpies at least in my style. Yeah, where you run out of things that your opponent has that you're going to destroy with the field spell. Mm, yeah, you run out of things that you're going to set because you either to keep get blowing them up accidentally, or you can't set things because they're going to get destroyed. Yeah, because when you exes to summon the harpy, exes it destroys things. It's just or no, no, no. When you summon harpy ladies, it destroys things. That's really easy, basically. Yeah. So this is a level seven dragon. And then there's Harpy Channeler, which turns into a level 7 dragon when there's another dragon-type monster on the field. Huh. Harpies are all wing beasts. You can get either of these two out very easily. And then White Dragon Ninja protects your spells and trap which cards. Which is really good for that deck. So you're no longer blowing your own stuff up. You're just you targeting just... them and nothing's happening. Yeah, exactly. Big eye. Big eye. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem with this card is the same problem in that situation, too. Which is that when you draw it, Oh, you just can't bad. do anything about it. It's not mm. bad, because not only can you not special summon it, except for from your deck with a ninja turret, mm-hmm. yeah, but now you just, it's two tributes, which like makes it awful. Because like, even if like, I've gotten into... But there is a card I've never gotten it out. It's mm. coming out in the next pack. Do well, you know what it is? Seven Swords... something. Seven Swords Warrior? Oh, that, uh, seven. it's Banish level 7 monster in your hand, draw two cards. Nice. Uh, that still good. doesn't solve it. It doesn't. Because you, you can run, uh, the, the, what's it called? The, the, the Harpy's dragons. Pet Dragon. Oh, mm-hmm. And then, 
Would you? What? If you, if would you I, run the pet dragon? I would run one. If I was running, or the, yeah, yeah. If I was Harvey's running pet. the seven swords, seven light draw, whatever. I want to know what it's called, but whatever. Uh, I would run one. I would run one. It's, I don't know. I've still, I've never, every time I've drawn the card, White mm -hmm. Dragon Ninja, I've never been able to, excuse me, recover. get recovered from drawing it. Oh, that's totally understandable. Uh, like, I've been in that situation and had the means to tribute summon it, but it's never worth tributing the monsters that you or summon. Magical Mallet. Mm -hmm. I'm, that's never worth running. It's just dead. <laughs> Gross. The best thing I could possibly think of doing with mm. it is discarding it for Light Pulsar Dragon. Mm. Ooh, uh, not bad. I also thought about just running it, but then, like, like I want to run it in a deck that can tribute them, and then you're like, frogs, but mm -hmm. then you're not running spells and traps. Yeah. It's just like, well... You can. You can bad tribute someone with harpies. Yeah. But then, once again, is it worth tributing those monsters? Yeah. For this, uh, it's it's not. You could, but, you could use hysteric party to summon three or five harpies, whatever. Yeah. Then you can just do whatever you want. Then you can exceed for vile under sigma. Then you gotta make room for more. Exceed for vile under sigma. Take their monster, then tribute vile under sigma <laughs> and their monster for <laughs> this. Why not? Why not? But uh, hey, you don't. Wait, no, you don't. You don't take it like as in. Oh no, that's right. That's right. That's right. You tribute the other two monsters. Yeah, you make a big five. eye sure, with not? two harpy dancers that make themselves level seven, mm. and then you take their monster and then you tribute their monster and big eye. Yes, this. there, there we go. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Then, but the the reason that you do run this card though is it's so alluring that the safe zone white dragon ninja lockdown. Mm -hmm. The lockdown that only like a handful of cards can get you out of. The, the all-purpose cards that we always say can get you out of this, of course, but uh, most people aren't running those. Mm -mm. Oh, I got a Super Marvel Jar number two. I'm going to actually run that. Nice. Maybe? Maybe. Wind-ups? No. Yeah. You try. Protect. I won't stop you. Go ahead and do nothing with it. <laughs> do nothing? You're not going to do anything with it. Your wind-up deck will not do anything with it. Why You're going to go ahead and summon all of your monsters... And then <laughs> morphing, jar them all back into your deck, mill all of your spells and traps that you use mm. after you go off, mm. and then yeah. summon summon a random assortment of wind up monsters. <laughs> Face down. Face down, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or you know, even better, set it on your first turn. And then have your opponent go off because, of course, they're running windups because every deck, yeah, wind up deck, yeah, I know. Then they'll go off, they'll attack, and then they'll be uh, <laughs> no, owned, I, I guess. No, no, I run this. I'm serious about running this. I keep it in my hand. I don't like set it if I'm doing stuff. I set it if things go wrong and they're doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, and you just run. And it a, just ruins them. You should run fossil dino. <sighs> fossil dino is so better restrictive. So. It's just so better. This destroys all. Man, I wish it wasn't so easy to get out my Xyz monsters. I really just wish that you <laughs> didn't put them back into my extra deck. Oh, oh man. Thank you. <laughs> no. But that was a tangent. Off that of, was a tangent. Uh, White Dragon Ninja not really being really hard to break after uh, Safe Zone. And also, um, was it that Monarch card from the new set? The Tribute one? If you Tribute Summon White Dragon Ninja with that card in the field, it does the same the thing. The March... Of the monarchs. Yeah, like can't be targeted. Except it's even more difficult because like it can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects? Yeah. Mm. The tribute summon monsters cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. So there's one reason I was like, well maybe I'll run one if I run that in a monarch deck. Mm. You could destroy it by battle. Why do you do it? But no. then if you safe zone it. Yeah. What, are you saying that you're gonna get safe zone and march of the monarchs no, 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 on the field at the same no, time? No. no. But uh the reason that it's helped that people want to do that is because that block is almost unbreakable, so you pretty much automatically win after that <laughs> against specific decks, and in some situations, the decks that can't answer it, they just lost all the potential to break it mm. all the time. Like, I don't think there's any Xyz that really get out of it. There's, there's one. Like? Lightning Shidori. Uh, yeah, they get out of it. That's really tough, though. Oh, because it removes the face-up Yeah, card. it can uh, return safe zone to the top of the deck. So you must immediately answer the White Dragon Ninja that turn, too. Mm. Shidori, so good. So good. But fair. 
That's fair. No. no. Once they made the harpies, it was just like, well, this deck can like three for nothing. Yeah. Three for nothing. It was yeah. fine because Rabbit can do whatever it wants, but then just harpies. Just it was fine before they made the archetype, they could summon it for nothing. Yeah, basically. Um, so that's that's all the ninjas that are like super usable, right? Yeah. Is there anything else for? There is one that I've thought about using, but I just want to mention it because I've thought about it. Earth Armor Ninja. Yeah, it's Earth Armor oh, Ninja. Of course, the the Cyber Dragon. Uh, it's I got the Cyber Dragon. Literally, it's the Cyber Dragon effect. It's level five Earth, sixteen hundred attack, twelve hundred defense. The reason I mention it is because it's the best. If you want to summon a level eight insect beast or winged beast, you pretty much have to use him. It's not horrible. Since he's special summon, so he gives you other access. Mm -hmm. And because I think he's like the best Earth Ninja. Uh, maybe he's a Zank. But uh, when it comes to... I was thinking about those cards from the next set. The dragons. And mm -hmm. I really... The Earth one is the best one. It mm -hmm. is just the, simply the best one. Earth Professor Dragon? Yeah. So I remember saying it on like a while ago. When we were talking about Road to the Tachyon Galaxy, there's the Suppressor Dragons. There's an Earth... They wind effects. Uh, they they made the effects more like readable. Can you only use? You use effect one effect once per turn. So, uh, you so use... they're limited. Yeah, so they're, but they're still really good. But the Earth one can discard itself and an Earth monster to special summon a monster in your graveyard, which is probably the best one. Which is like really good. Like so, in the case of Hanzi, you can like special the Hanzi back and add a card. Mm -hmm. so it's like you don't nag. And next turn, you can just special summon the dragon back from your graveyard. Weren't they cleaned up Divine Judgment of Sullivan, though? No, probably not. No. Huh. But, uh... So then I was like, I wanted to run that one because I wanted to special the Hansa back for, like, nothing. So you could be, like, something like... Uh, and he's on the just being special summoning the Hanzo adds the ninja to let you do that to keep specialing the Hanzo. So, like, it perpetuates itself. Yep. The problem is Earth Armor Ninja is bad. Yeah. Superior Attack, Cyber Dragon. Hmm. Um... Yeah. But if there was ever a level 8 monster you needed to summon with normal transformation, he's your guy. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, maybe I want to summon Sacred Phoenix and Ethos, or Gardonix, or Garunix, or whatever it's called. You would run him. Or, or Blue Dragon Ninja. Poseidra. Poseidra's level 7. Whoa. What about Air Armor Ninja? He's so flamboyant. Nope. But, uh... Aqua? Should we just talk about those dragons? Um, really wait, quick. Aqua's, yeah. wait, Aqua's really good. Aqua's good. I've thought about it, but I don't want to run it. This card, when your opponent's monster declares a direct attack, if you have another ninja monster in your graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard to target the attacking monster and negate the attack. It is something. It's something, but then you had to run it. Aqua. But, uh, <laughs> wow. That, uh, so there's the dragons. The reason why I think they're really important is because they allow you to run... They're dragons, so they're super transformationable. So they allow you to run them in any of the decks of that element, potentially, mm -hmm. with ninjas. Uh, oh, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, the wind one was so good for what I wanted. Because it's just exactly what I needed. I don't even know what to say. It discards a wind monster, and it can add dragons to your hand. And all I, all the wind monsters were all dragons that I was discarding. I was like, I can discard <laughs> Abercon way to dragon, to add mm -hmm. Abercon way to my hand. And if I just get rid of that Abercon way... I can add the Abercon way back that I had. Mm -hmm. Then so you can another from way. You can just potentially just like cycle through them so forever. It's an exact effect. You discard a Hit itself and a wind monster to, to add. add a dragon from your deck to your hand. Whoa, that's amazing. And then the other thing that makes them really good is that when they're banished, they essentially they add another copy of themselves to the hand. Yep. So if they do, you summon it, and with super transformation, they destroy super transformation. It's banished. Oh. And then you add it to your hand. Wow. Yeah. No punishment whatsoever. No. And then so like and then during your opponent's end phase they always return to your hand. So if you summon it during their turn, it'll summon it, stop them from attacking, and get it back to your hand to allow you to use its discard effect. So then like this one is really good because uh Oh I'll, I'll bring this up now. Debris Dragon is effective in that deck. Because it can revive uh, upstart, upstart gold ninja mm -hmm. and make a rank four. So it's just another kind of like quick one card. Uh, rank 4. And so that wind one, it's a wind monster, debris dragon, so it can be discarded for it. It can be added to your hand when it's banished. It can be added to your hand when it uses its effect. So it like, combos really well with that. Same with Abercon and I was like, this is what I need. But then, then the earth one, monster borns when you discard. And the water one sends a monster to the graveyard, which is not helpful for ninjas, but 
But then the fire one is really good. The fire one looks awesome, too. Oh, yeah. Um, so the fire one is... You discard it and a fire to destroy a card. Yep. And it's got the highest attack. It's got 2,800. Uh, why was this? I thought of something that was really weird to do with that one. Oh, yeah, because, uh... I was thinking... Because, oh, that was... I was thinking about bad things to do with the rabbit, like I told you. Mm -hmm. Uh, and one of them was bringing me back to, uh... What is that? That ritual spell that's limited to one. Oh, uh, advanced ritual. Advanced ritual. Yes, yeah. I was thinking about advanced ritual OTK with demise king, and how you would just summon the twenty-eight doom dozer, and just equip it to so it's a fifty-six with uh, is that megamorph? Yeah. And so this one actually works with it, and you can do some like really weird stuff using this one, but better monsters to send to the graveyard. Oh, interesting. Or rabbiting into fire monsters. Or you could do, like, one of the things where, like, you rabbit into, like, Ninken Dogs, and you can either go into... So it gave me all these options. I can do Ninken Dogs for the guy to search my deck for something, and then do the Axe of the Puma OTK instead, which mm. is the same, because Axe of the Puma doubles his attack to 3,000. And then if you... So if you uh, Megamorph him to 3,000, because he's got 15, use his effect, he'll double his attack to 6,000. And then, so you run all those Beast Warriors. Or you can go into... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Demise. Chidori. Chidori, okay. With that. Chidori. And then, and that's good too. And then you can run the Wind Dragon. And there's, there, there's just lots of options to go to there that were really cool. But that was something altogether completely different. <laughs> well, they give potential to ninjas that they can be summoned with super transformation and synergize with any of the four elements. Any. Absolutely any. true. Flame armor like random ninja. shells in a ninja deck. Volcanic shell. Why not? And flame armor ninja? No. <laughs> what? And the fire suppressor. It's got 1700 attack. That's respectable. It can go up to level 5. It can, it can do the same thing as uh, earth armor ninja. It can become your 5 that you wanted. You yeah. a normal summon it. Oh. Well, what are some other synergy <laughs> decks? Some good good decks. You can go off on your first turn. The best deck, in my opinion, for running ninjas at this point in time is Chaos Dragons. They have so many synergy points. So many. I mean, it's what I'm running right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, like like you said, Chaos. Mm -hmm. It's just like... That's Chaos Dragons. Light Pulsar. Yeah. Light Pulsar just like loves that deck. Mm. They love each other to pieces. This is what inspired me to make the deck that I'm running right now, I think. This, like, really old deck? Like, what even is this? No, I made this when I made that deck. What like, is I made this, and what? then I made that deck. Because I was that? like, what am I doing? What, yeah, what is all this? Yeah, what, what, what's that card? Yeah, oh, light, oh, light rays. Yeah. You dropped those because they were bad? Because they were inconsistent? What? You, were they dropped, in did you drop them because they were inconsistent? Um, I don't think I thought this would have worked in real life. I mean, like, you used to run, like... Oh, oh, really. so the reason why I stopped running the Light Ray things is because I did not like milling that much anymore. You had versus, to mill too much. And versus mill. the decks that exist, the milling was not going to work. Because the milling was too slow. I didn't want to run Card Trooper because I didn't want to have a 400 attack monster on the field. Um, I didn't want to run multiple Rikos because after wait. a while, those yeah, those don't do anything. Summoning Lila to mill doesn't do anything. Three soul recharges, like, I'll just mill one or two of them, or I'll be stuck with them in my hand and they won't do anything. It was too many boss monster problem, and I just, I want to run the boss monsters. You run the chaos boss monsters. Yeah, that's, that's what that is. They now. pinpoint mill. The boss monsters. Dark player dragon can, makes it all better. Summon from the graveyard. Discarded cards. So, the ninjas, so in my deck, the ninjas basically, like, We've been talking about control the opponent. They force the opponent to use cards because they think the ninjas are going to be a threat. And the ninjas and the level 4 light swarms can make Xyz plays. And Preliminary. It's like... It's the... the, the uh, what's his name? The guy who played Agents is really good. Simon He. Simon He. The Simon He experience. Uh, his like, theory about the deck, I guess. Whatever he... How he described Chaos Agents. Mm. Is that... You have... The preliminary plays that force the opponent to act, mm -hmm. and uh, which set up your later plays. Mm -hmm. So it's like your Venus combos, which are like essentially for free. You do something that's really simple and easy, 
it forces the opponent to do something or lose. Mm -hmm. And then it sets up everything else in your deck so that you can hopefully just drop a huge crud on their face. Yep. And the thing about Hanzo is that if you haven't used your super transformations already, it's a fantastic top deck. Oh, yeah. Like, summon Hanzo, add super transformation set. Now there's, like, short of exceeding a lot, there's not too much they can do. Because if they summon a big monster, and you haven't used Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, you can get that out. Yeah. If they've, if they've already, if you've already used Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, you can get out a Light Pulsar Dragon. And then if they destroy that, you bring out a Dark Dragon from your graveyard. Mm -hmm. So Hanzo basically turns into... Very, very good options. And I, I like the deck that I'm running now because it plays similarly to the previous Light Sworn deck that I've made, but it is more pinpoint. Yeah, pinpoint now. Like, Hanzo turns into a ton the, of different cards. Yeah, the ones you need. Mm -hmm. Dark Flare sends the monsters you need. Uh, Uxies to the monsters you need to, like, send things to get rid of their, mm. That monster's type, the monster you detach is type. It all is very precise. Yep. But uh, I was thinking of something. That I forgot. Hmm. Oh yeah, that reminds. Yeah, you were saying that if you, uh, you just top deck Hanzo. Top deck. That reminds Hanzo. me of a time I was playing Nate. I had already like in my mind I had given up because I thought I lost. I had no cards, mm -hmm. and then he had like all these X sabers. I still lose mm -hmm. in the end because it was unlikely I'd win. Mm -hmm. He had like all these X sabers, and I was like, oh, I lost. And I drew Hanzo, and I was like. Oh, it's Hanzo. <laughs> I was like, so it let me survive another turn. Mm -hmm. Just drawing a Hanzo. Mm -hmm. He had like Gotham's Faltrol, and another monster. Mm. It's just, it's never bad to draw a Hanzo. No, that's what you did. I had a field of BLS and and a uh, Dark Arm oh, Dragon. Oh yeah. And then, and I was like, oh, I drew a Hanzo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you were like, I can't believe you almost came back from that. It would have been nice if I had had one other card. Things would have been interesting. But I only drew the Hanzo. Yeah, that's what, like that's essentially what happened to me. I was like, I drew it, and I was able to take one of them, but I couldn't summon a monster threatening enough to keep him from like overtaking it, mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. essentially stopping him from gaming me for another turn. Yep. And lowering his, and I had to draw another Hanzo essentially to get out of it. Mm -hmm. Which I, that wasn't gonna happen. The other thing that the the Hanzos allowed me to do was run traps. Because I think traps are incredibly important right now, and I like never ran traps ever. But <laughs> uh, like the the uh, super transformation, some mirror force, some torrential, pretty much you can the set haunted. call the haunted. Setting any of those at any time, like when you're in the thick of it, is really good because you can set the super transformation to be scary. If they blow it up and you don't have a Hanzo, you don't care because you no, know, maybe you summon the Hanzo and then get one, and you're fine. But if you draw a Hanzo and then you have a Super Transformation set and they haven't gotten rid of it, then you can start going if you're playing Chaos Dragons right there because uh, they haven't gotten rid of it already and chances are they're not going to now. Mm. Bad things happen. Bad things happen. What else? There's not a whole lot. There's also Dinosaurs, which pretty much comes down to Kabuz not Kabuz Hall's, uh Dragweeba. Mm -hmm. That's like the only dinosaur that's worth it. Super transform into Gleeba, Gleeba into Gleeba, Gleeba into Lagia. Yeah, so it's like a a plus one Lagia. So it's like even more ad advantageous than Rabbit, potentially. Mm -hmm. In your perfect world, mm -hmm. you summon Hanzo. With that one Hanzo, you get rid of one of your opponent's cards, and you get a Lagia. Mm -hmm. You thin your deck of one, two, three cards. Mm -hmm. Oh, and if you play Rota first, it's so tasty. Yeah, duality into Rota, into Hanzo, mm. into Super Transformation, into Gweeba. And then you just draw Gweeba, the goods. Into, uh, yeah. That's the best part. You draw the goods when you thin your deck with ninjas. Yeah. And then you probably attack over one thing, so that's another plus. Mm -hmm. You negate something, plus three. Mm. And then they destroy it with a card, so you go on for one. So you get a plus three. Mm -hmm. You drew Hanzo, plus three. Good stuff. That's the ideal situation for that. It's probably a plus one most of the time, just like, uh, take their monster, and they they threaten your Weebo away. Mm -hmm. But that's the only dinosaur, I think that's, like, really all you can summon a super. I well, want to summon sea serpents. I, I tried. I tried, man. <laughs> I really tried. Did you try Daedalus? Uh, no, uh, I didn't try. The problem with, like, I wanted to do that. The problem mm. with it is, if you use his effect, he destroys super transformation and banishes himself. Really? Yeah. It doesn't send everything... Oh, 
all okay. sad faces, sad. Exactly. Kill yourself. Yeah. It's like it was worth it until I was like, wait a minute. Mm. Uh, that idea devolved into something cauterous. Yeah, I was about to say you could just do cauterous, which is uh, not something. good. It's, no, it's not worth it. It's not good because you can't do it during their turn. It's cauterous. And there's really, there's really no other sea serpents that are worth it. Mm. If you, I tried to, I couldn't finagle it to work. Mm -hmm. But if you somehow could, it was good to summon marksmen. Because mm. it takes away the monster and you get to free, like, chump change into them and does stuff. Mm -hmm. Problem is you have to run the bad cards that he summons. Mm -hmm. And you can't draw them. Because when you draw them, then it's like, well, my deck is dead. Mm -hmm. um, Weird, yeah. I, I tried Sky Star Ray. Just because I, I, like, I just wanted it to be a removal card. <laughs> and the other route isn't. When you draw Sky Star Ray, it's still bad. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the only other deck I've had it work in is uh, Heraldic Beasts. Oh yeah. I summon Abercon ways and let them die, so that it works in that case to just summon them as using it as a removal card. Because mm -hmm. I want the card that summons to just die. Yeah. Or if it stays there, I just summon another Abercon way and make a Jidori, mm -hmm. and they're really unhappy about That's that. Oh, it got so much better when Jidori came out. Mm. Abercon way. I realized that during. I, also, I don't know if I ever stated. But the pre-release pack, or not the pre-release, but Cosmo Blazer was really well engineered for the yeah the pre-release pre battle. It was really really well engineered, so I think exactly that. it was very cool. I wish I could have battled with it, like after looking like we could now. That reminds me of a thing I thought about doing, which was like if they had like set tournaments, mm -hmm. or it was just like oh only like commons and rares from these sets. Mm. It'll be called like the elemental battle. All these elemental packs. You can only use commons and rares at this tournament from those. That would be cool. That would be really fun. Be like, what will people use? Mm -hmm. Well, he'd be using the server Sphinx deck. <laughs> um, so that was, that's everything with Super Transformation. That's reasonable. Dragons. There's going to be dragons. There are dragons. Sea Serpents sea are serpents. like nothing. There's only one dinosaur. Yep. Except for Tyranno Infinity. <laughs> are there any... There's like one maybe dark dinosaur. What level is Tyranno Infinity? Four. Dark. Good. Good. It seems like it should work Dice. all the time. Just run. Elementsaurus. Oh, gr no. There are... Whoa. And Gaio Diaz. Gaio Diaz. I forgot about how good that thing is. I looked through all the dinosaurs at one point. Mm. Cause I, I, okay, I was like... I was, I was like, thinking we're going somewhere with Strike Ninja, Ninja, but we're not. No, no, no. We're not going No, anywhere. no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, so I also, with normal transformation, I also tried making a hazy flame, I think that's what they're called now. A hazy flames? A hazy flame deck, because super transformation summons everything in the deck that you want. Mm -hmm. It summons Cerberus, and it summons Fire Dog. Yeah. And then, and then Fire Dog summons Cerberus, and it can also summon Magician. It's always really good, for particularly for s normal transformation. Mm-hmm. If it can summon a floater. Mm hmm Because it's more prone to just dying. Because they're not threatened by it, so they just continue most of the time, so they just start blowing things up. Mm hmm So in most cases, you want to have something that can die with it. Mm hmm Which, Cerberus. Cerberus is really good. Mm hmm Um, I, um, I just finished looking at all the dinosaurs, almost. Oh, man, you're almost done. Um, I'm pretty sure they're... Yep, there's no, there's no good dinosaurs. Mm hmm no. Because I was trying to see... The Sauropod brought Can't summon that card from the deck. What okay. card? Oh, <laughs> Sauropod. <This guy, laughs> so you cannot ready. special summon this guy. Why I knew you were going to say that. You started looking at the screen, I was like, he's going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> what about Superconductor Tyranno? Oh, God, Superconductor Tyranno? I want to summon the one that oh, can yeah. attack every monster on the field. I want Black Tyranno. That's Black, Black Tyranno. Is it? No, no it's, it's Ultimate, Ultimate Tyranno. Yeah, I want to summon that. But no, uh, what Let about... summon that. That one card, uh, ah, oh, dang it, no, it's Super Ancient Dino Beast. That doesn't do anything. Oh, that, like, that's lets you draw a card every time. It looks time. cool. It doesn't do anything. Looking through all of the sea serpents, dang, you're, there are none. You're There's wrong. none, I know. I, I looked at them, I remember... These are, the, these are the most depressing, like... There's, like, nothing in There is... It's so sad. There's dinosaurs. Dinosaurs will just attack things. Oh, you can make an Orca Mega Fortress stick. No, you can't. <laughs> That's not true. That's impossible. That's You're not, true. not That's me. a popsicle. Oh man, I forgot what that was from. I always forget what that's from. No, you're not That's me. true. 
That's a nice Nobody story. here gets that, but some listener out there gets that remembrance. But, uh, yeah, so, so that means we can officially, after I've looked at all those, officially move away from Super Transformation. Because mm-hmm. there is literally nothing. There is nothing. Other than normal monsters. <laughs> but uh, this, we can talk about the slippery slope of setting two Super Transformation, and one of them your opponent doesn't know that you have. That's oh. the best. Setting oh. any two Transformations is Ooh. the best. Go ahead and MST one. I don't care. You won't think I have two. No one ever thinks you have two. It's, want, oh, it's yeah. so improbable. I like, want to believe that you don't, don't have two. That's like when, when you're like, you summon high priestess into my Hansa, because you, you got wisdom. <laughs> of course you did. And I'm like, transformation. And he's like, wisdom. I was like, I knew you had wisdom. Transformation again. I knew you had wisdom. <laughs> yeah. You thought you were wise. Transform. And then uh, you take it. Uh, I'll show you what true wisdom is, girly. Come yeah. Here. Come here. That always works. Come oh, here, but even better. I remember telling you once, when you have one of each transformation, mm-hmm. they get in like the worst position ever. You you summon, you have one in your hand. You have normal in your hand. You summon Hanzo at super. They know you have super, so they don't summon things face up. They set them. <laughs> you transform into Red Dragon Ninja. Return I did their that monsters. once. I was so unhappy. That you oh, yes. yeah. It returns the monsters. Okay, you add that one. You, add, you have super in your hand. You mm-hmm. you add normal transformation. They're like, oh, he's going to summon Red Dragon Ninja. Set. So I can't set monsters. Summon mm-hmm. face up monsters. Normal trans Super transformation. Take it. I forgot he had the super transformation. But it's like whenever that happens, they're just like there's like there's no going around it. Mm-hmm. It's Transformation so festival. I've lost so much. And then oh, then they forget. They forget after that when you uh, if you use they set a monster because you added the suit the big one mm-hmm. and you summon Red Dragon Ninja. They forget you added Super Transformation <laughs> and you transform with Red Dragon Ninja. Mm-hmm. They just get deeper. They must go deeper. <laughs> so they bad. don't know what you look like anymore. They weren't ready for it. Nobody's ever prepared for it that catches them off guard when you have two. Mm. It's evil. Uh, so, regular transformation summons Wing Beasts. We've already talked about uh, accelerating decks that run that Dark Wind monster. Dark Simor. Dark Simor. Harpies are coming out. I don't... I wouldn't run it in that. I have no idea what Harpies look like in the competitive scene right now, but... But harpies run out of monsters so quickly. Do they do anything in Japan? No. Have, has that pack come out yet? No. Like, if you Why think about all of the harpies necessary? that you've seen, you know they can exceed really fast if they get Channeler. Yeah. But if you stop them from having monsters on the field, it seems like they're not going to do anything oh. at all. No. They'll wait for Hysteric Party or maybe Call uh, of the Haunted. February 16th. That's oh. in 16 days, but it uh, looks like... Well, that's weird. For what? Oh, I like this right as I went to the wikia, mm. it updated and said there's going to be a Cosmo Blazer special edition. Mm. Oh. I think they have that on the official site or something. Yes. Like, I saw it forever ago. And we don't know what the promos are yet? No. Master's going to be... Uh, oh, yeah, I have no idea what could be in there now. It's been huh. too much. It's been too long for me to know. They're going to do this thing again where they just don't... What the... What is that? It's Madrat. What? Magiline? What? Magiline information? They tell you that you can do things that you're not going to do. Like what? You slow like, summon roll. four of them into Shockmaster. Or three of them into Shockmaster. How do you do that? You wait. You wait. You wait. <laughs> Are you being serious? Yes. That's what they told you to do. Wait and just hope they don't Continually you. summon them until you it works. Well, they haven't updated the official site with it yet. Oh, weird. I saw it They have pictures, ago. though. How did they... Where did they get those it's pictures? From Shriek. I think that's what it said. Mm. Shriek. Well, we could continue with what you were talking about. Continually releasing stuff. Uh, so, Wing Bees, Harpies... Harpies, for me, don't have a lot of field presence. I'm probably doing it wrong. I just figured I would, like, run Harpies for a while before they come out so I can understand. But they run out of monsters so quickly. And so, yeah. maybe... May, and, and what I said way, way earlier, that if you're running Harpies, you're running the field spell, and you're running Ninjas, normal transformation becomes a pseudo-MST, I Base think. Thing. Oh no. yeah, you can summon the monster from your deck. And so MST, if you have the if you have the field spell, when you know you normal summon or special summon a harpy, yeah, they're like play call the haunted, then you'll be like, oh, transform, mm-hmm. so I can destroy it, or something like that. Yeah, something like that. But then at the same time, is there one you desperately need to get? You don't desperately need to get any of them. The main purpose is just. Having monsters and ninjas are there. That's the thing. That's like that's the thing about transformation. See, it because it doesn't have that extra value of taking the monster. Mm-hmm. It has to be necessary for you to get that monster you get with it in some way, mm-hmm. or very helpful at least. Mm-hmm. 
Which is why I like... That's why it's really good for the floaters to be in the deck. Because the Gatita floater, which searches your deck. So it's essentially like Hanzo searches your deck for the card you wanted. Mm-hmm. Bird face. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but any uh, other wing beasts? Uh, there's this is my this is the Kyle suite. Mm-hmm. If I'm running normal transformation, I run the Kyle suite, which is I'm running transformation, so I run one Red Dragon Ninja, I run one Zephyros, mm. and then I run one Mist Valley Falcon. Mist Valley Falcon is good. Why? That's because crazy. it's so good. It's unbelievably good. Yeah. And I'm, not, I'm if, not going to argue. If I have anything reasonable that can use Foolish Burial, other than the Zephyros, I run a Foolish Burial. <laughs> so does that include Red Dragon Ninja? Ooh. That's not reasonable. <laughs> so you're what's, not, what's you're not running the Foolish Burial in the Kyle suite. In my what? In the Kyle suite? It's not... Formally a part of the cast. Oh, okay. But yeah. you're running it is a potential addition. You're running because of Leo? Leo and Aberconway. Aberconway. I can send Aberconway to add a card to my hand. If I, if you, it becomes Rhoda when you send Leo. Which is really good. Mm-hmm. Or a ro- pseudo-Rhoda. But no, because uh, you want to bounce Hondos back to your hand to resummon for more transformations, and you want to bounce transformations mm-hmm. after they become dead to reuse them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, or other good cards like uh, with the sweet, uh, the Zephyros and the Falcon allow you to cycle Red Dragon Ninja a lot. Mm. I was playing, was it Devin? He was running plants, and he was in a situation like to continue. He had to set monsters, mm. so I I got to a place where I was like, okay, I'll summon. First, I summoned Red Dragon Ninja, and he's like, oh no, and then so the next, and I attack a little, and then he he goes and. He sets because it's like I'm only running one; it's not gonna happen again. And use Zephyros and then resummon it, and then do it again. And then at that point, he's like, "Okay, this is bad." And then you attack with your Falcon and you return it to your hand. Mm-hmm. And you, it just keeps going. You keep returning it, or like you attack with the Falcon on that turn, return the normal transformation, and then like, or the super, and then it puts it them in like this pickle where you're not using any cards and you're disrupting everything. <laughs> It makes because well, you, all you're doing is returning cards that you've used to your hand, and using them again. And you gain one card you if you're keep, using yeah. Zephyros. You just keep getting cards back. You keep getting cards by drawing on your turn because mm-hmm. you didn't use any cards. You're telling them get over my two thousand wall. Yeah, or my twenty four beater. Mm-hmm. Or continue to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> suffer the wrath of Khan. Uh, so beasts. Beast. There's uh, the two that I already talked about: the hazy Cerberus. flame Cerberus and the Flamvel Fire Dog. Mm-hmm. Um, there's not a whole cavalcade more. Uh, one of the most like. important. There's the Dark Simor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there is Vist Valley Apex Avion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He received his own deck that Randy tops all all over the place. Whenever, when someone feels like it, who's really good, they play that and they top. Mm-hmm. Because it's level 7 winged beast, right? Well, it has to be. Unless it's a beast or an insect. No, it's a winged beast. Yeah. Uh, so, and then you summon on your first turn and hopefully play the Miss Valley Field spell, and you essentially win. Mm hmm. Ideally, you win because you negate everything that's not good. Sacred Phoenix is level 8. Oh. Uh, I, I always wanted to do that. They're like, oh, MST, and you're like, Sacred Phoenix. <laughs> but you can't do that. Um. Heraldic Beast, really good in that. Mm-hmm. Leo. You just want to get Leo, the one Leo, as fast as possible. That's what I found in that deck. Um, there's not a whole lot, though, once again, which mm-hmm. is weird. Oh, uh, in my needing to do chain dog things, I can oh, summon yeah. chain dog. Chain dog. That is the only card that searches chain dog. Yeah, exactly. Makes me so happy. But, uh, see, chain dog, foolish barely, you run foolish barely now. Oh, there you go. And that build. There you go. Uh, Chain Dog. I, I know there's got to be something else. I feel like we're missing one like that's huge. I it's guess like worth it. We could say Sapphire Pegasus. Sapphire Pegasus, yes, yes, Sapphire Pegasus, yes, yes, Sapphire Pegasus, yes. Sapphire Pegasus, yes. Oh, I ran that one like poopy, not poopy. It was really fun. Uh, ZW deck. Uh, I would summon Unicorn Sphere for my deck because it's 19. Nice. And just be really silly with it. 
Because I can't just make rank fours because ninjas just do that. Um, 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 uh, uh, I feel like we should like go back to every podcast we ever made and look at all the archetypes and be like, this will work. This will work. <laughs> like you could do uh, X Sabers. Oh, true. Dark Soul or other good things. But I almost feel like we should just cap it off there anyway. Oh, dear. We, we have to at least then talk about the insects. The insects? You there, have the to, insects. there have to be some insects that you're able to summon. There are. There's insectors. No, not not the generic ones. We're, let's go deep. Deep into the colony. Be this soldier. The ant colony. Um, We're going to summon ultimate insect. Bring ultimate on. insect. Level two. <laughs> Where's <laughs> level one? There's a lot of them. Um, Some of the worst of them. Insects. Level it up. Insects. The hard insects. That's hard. Insects is hard. It is. Insect queen? I think that's level seven. And you, I don't you know, want like, it. You like tribute <laughs> monsters to get tokens or something? Oh, yeah, maybe. Bad. You're like pooping out oh. eggs. If, that's, if you're into that, you can do it. Definitely. Okay. Here I am. I'm on our podcast page. I'm going to say every archetype that has anything worth it. Is there a Gemini monster that's worth it? A Gemini beast, wing beast, or insect. Can't think of any oh, insect. Gladiator beast. There's a good one. Gladiator beast. Blazing butterfly. Ojamas. Blazing, Blazing butterfly. butterfly. Blazing butterfly. Ojamas. Um, mm-hmm. um, there's mm-hmm. goggle golem, but mm-hmm. that's a long monster. <laughs> oh, wind ups. Why not? I'm sure there's a beast in there. Wind up rat. Yeah, wind up rat. There you go. See Nordics. I forgot about that. Ninja Nordics. Ninja Nordics. That was a good one. That one was actually a thing for a while within our, our group. A small thing. Who did it? I think I did it. Ninja. Fables. Ninja. There's a few fabled beasts. Oh, there's sure not a whole lot of archetypes. Fish. <laughs> X-Savers. Oh, black wings. Mm. Black wings, of course. Black wings. Okay. Lots of darks. Ninja black. More darks than you can shake a stick at. So that's good. In black. So now we will move on to comments. To Hopefully. Comments, which have returned, I believe. They have returned? Yes. That is good. The maybe comments have returned. Maybe iTunes like saw it, or listened and heard. Wait a minute, yeah. did, it, did it return all of our comments? All of them. Wow. Oh. Everyone. Let's make a noise and go to that. Two times the pain, T pain. Yep, we got first one. This is a short one. He says, Thanks by Bob Loser67. He said, I just wanted to thank you for the Crystal Beats podcast. Keep up the good work. Happy face. Yay. Yay. People demanded it. We gave it to them. And next, it's You Got It, Boss. By, uh, that's just something else. That was one thing I always wanted to ask someone because people say that to me when I'm at work. Mm-hmm. I'm on counter. Random person says, "Thanks, boss." Or, Thanks, boss. You got a boss. Yeah, I always want to know what that's boss. for. I think they respect you. You know. But why? When did that? It, it probably originated somewhere. But I, uh, I would agree. Do you research and find out. You got it, boss. By Kame, Kame, answer, and a Konichiwa YCG crew. First up, thanks for putting up with my name for so long. You can call it whatever you like now. It makes no difference. But to the point, I have two questions and an interesting piece of Yu-Gi-Oh! information. First, if Madolce Croissant uses his effect to bounce ticket and I activate the bounce ticket... Huh? Oh, uh, can I use... And I activate the bounce ticket, can I use the ticket's effect again if I already used it that turn. No. Second, I'm not sure if you are aware, but Orbital 7 is actually the card version of a Zexel character that isn't even a card. What? But, um, but it's that little robot guy he has. Oh, he serves the character Kaito Tenjo, the dude that looks like Jack Atlas that runs photons, and is known for saying the phrase, You got it, boss. Oh, that's why. He's got the You got it, boss token. Our counter in response to Kaito's demands. Third, do you guys watch the Yu-Gi-Oh anime at all, or read the mangas at all? If so, why? <laughs> 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 that is the way that it ended. I was like, if so, why? <laughs> like, why would you do that? But uh, 
That's I know that's not what you meant. But God bless Come on, Hamster. P.S. Sorry, those are out of order. Croissant question. So Croissant can once per turn return a Medulce card to the hand. Mm-hmm. Uh what is it? Ticket. You play it again. I believe ticket can so only be activated once per turn. The effect of ticket. The ticket. Yep. Use the effect of Medulce ticket once per turn. So even if you had two tickets on the field, you could only activate one of them. Which so. is equivalent to returning one to your hand and playing huh. it again. Konami saw what you did there and denied you. Denial. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. <laughs> uh, so no, you can't do that. In nope. short, no. Uh, anime and manga, no. I don't. I don't read or watch. I do usually end up reading the manga if I buy the one with the card. Mm. I don't. I don't. Eventually, I do. Some. It's like. It's like I don't want to go to sleep, and it's like right beside my bed on the ground. And I was like, oh. Mm. I watched that. the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime... I uh, watched GX, that was it. You I watched, watched it in English? Yeah. Uh, I remember I was really excited for GX because I had watched 13 episodes of it in Japanese, and I loved it. And then I was excited for the first day that it was going to come on in English, and they sang that opening theme song, and I just... Well, I just turned it off. I Come on and get and your I... game on. No, I mean... Oh my gosh! I couldn't take it. I could not handle it. It made me. It made me very sad. I have not seen one full episode of GX in English since ever, yeah. ever. Huh. I didn't watch that one. I watched the like the last oh, like ten nice. episodes of. This is not Vexel. Japanese is so much better. Of five Ds in Japanese. So much less cocky. It's better in Japanese. Mm. All of them are, even the ones that aren't that good. <laughs> but uh, the new one, I watched half of the first episode, couldn't stand it. In English? Uh, in Japanese. Why not? He's a child. He's just a child. It is a child show, more than anything. It's not like... In 5Ds, they were at least adults, so they are kind of adult. They were always more adult than the now. It's super not adult now. But and then, otherwise, you know, you go back to Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah, where Yu-Gi-Oh. they were, like, murdering each other. He's got lessons that he wants to teach you. <laughs> he doesn't even have cool <laughs> monsters Morals. anymore, so you feel cool when he's like, I summon my great and powerful, like, do 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 No, the, go, 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 My draw, great and powerful the draw is that Sonic? He sucks. No. Go, 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 go. Now, the draw is that he sucks, and that he, like, does everything wrong, and then Astral has to, like, try and bail him out at the last second. Yep. But everything works out in the end because he's like the main character. Huzzah. One thing that annoys me is when well it doesn't annoy me, I just I just notice it, is when the main character is not punished for making mistakes. Like in the game that I played that, like I played two games. They're both Tales games, I'm not gonna like get into them. One one game I liked it because he made mistakes and everyone like looked down on him and like didn't trust him anymore. And then he had to change. Mm-hmm. He was, like, forced to change because he was losing everyone's trust. And the other game that I just recently got done playing for the PS3, he makes mistakes and, like, trusts people unconditionally and is punished for it. But he doesn't ever change. The party members never, like, stop trusting him. And he always just thinks it's just going to work out. And eventually it does, is what I mean. Mm. So, like... Really cliche. In the, yeah, in, in the new Zexel... He, like, he never changes, like, his ways after... He always believes, like, things are just going to work out. So he does things, like, suboptimally. And Astral is, like, a real-life duelist. Like, he tries to, like... He, like, comes up with, like, these really intricate strategies to, like... That'll get him to win no matter it's what. It's funny because he's not alive. But, yeah. but he, like... He doesn't do them. He just does things... Oh. He just does things his way. And he's, like... He's punished, but he always wins. Mm-hmm. So he never, like, changes, I don't think. He doesn't learn... He doesn't learn from his mistakes. And we don't either. <laughs> uh, he doesn't learn, so why should we? Why should we learn to watch the show? He's teaching the young Yu-Gi-Oh players to do what we don't want, which is not learn and be stubborn. Mm. <laughs> okay, one last iTunes comment. The new, the new. Shall I read it or someone else? I will read it. Oh my god, it's so big. Uh, <laughs> it is called Banless Prediction Podcast. Huh. I think that was next, wasn't it? No, well, yeah, it's definitely next. Yeah. That's not what I... Did. Is it something I said, Matt? 
No. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. I know exactly what it was. It wasn't anything. We'll just, we'll just go over it. First of all, we'll finish the comment. Yeah. <clears throat> By Easy to Be Cheesy. Whoa. Hey, YCG podcast so team. Uh, mm. I was just wanted to know if we can expect a podcast on your predictions for the March 2013 ban list. This has been a hot topic amongst my friends, and we have come to some conclusions. Many of us agree, believe BLS should be gone. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> At this point, I don't care if it doesn't leave or not. I'll be kind of sad if they get rid of it and we don't get another cast server. Mm-hmm. That will be so upsetting. I just traded for a BLS, so you can be <laughs> quiet about that prediction. It's um, not that big of a deal. I There's know. more, way more egregious cards than that. <laughs> you can be gamed in worse ways than BLS. Okay. So, I know I have been, I've had more than enough of this card thrown in my face. Also, most any deck can run him because every monster, wait, every every deck, every deck now, I skipped the line, every deck now runs Tour Guide and Baylor. I feel that Monster Born could leave and make way for premature burial to return. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me just Sorry. go out the back and shoot myself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just, I'll just say that, like, the most simple but stupid thing that, like, ruins that is just, like, why wouldn't you run Mr. Valley Falcon in every deck? <laughs> Revive it with premature burial, attack, return premature burial to your hand. Or mm-hmm. search it with hidden armor. I would, I, people, I remember someone was like, yeah, who would really run triple hidden armor? I was like, I would run <laughs> three hidden armor. It's like, you why would You can get it from I? your graveyard. All the yeah. special summon instead of normal summoning. <laughs> yeah. Who gives a crap? We just talked about a monster. I'll that's have my help. BLS three <laughs> times. You remember when I was running Stratos? Uh, I always get Stratos. It's just like... Remember how broken Stratos Monster Reborn was? Remember how much more... It, you know how just, broken premature burial, premature burial, premature burial Stratos was? <laughs> <laughs> It was good. I'll, it'll get to the point to where I'll like I'll I'll be looking for ways to just get Stratos off the field so I can just bring it back. I'll, yeah. I'll run the bats. I'll run. I'll dark hole my own Stratos and get a plus off of it. <laughs> What's up with that? So, anyways, I I feel like we should just read this entire comment and then go through uh, it piece by piece. Yeah, we'll do it. Different. We won't comment on them. But sorry. Sorry okay, for so. dismantling the first two. Yeah. All right. And finally, there are just three monsters that I believe are too good to be at three right now. There was our one Grapha. This card is just way too powerful. People thought Hyperion summoning condition was a joke. I feel this card would be much more balanced at one. Mm-hmm. Two, Judgment Dragon. Again, this is just another card that has practically no summoning condition. Its effect is extraordinarily good, and my swims are all run Monster Reincarnation, slash my Light of Redemption, to return this card to their hand if they do in fact mill it. Because of this, this card should go to one in my opinion. Three, Evil Czar Logia, basically a solemn judgment with 2400 attack. If Dino Rabbit drops this on your first turn, you will have to waste your own cards to get around it, not to mention that they usually have plenty of background to stop your feeble attempts at getting through around him. Solemn Judgment is that one. Why should this card be why shouldn't this card be there as well? These are just some of my predictions, and I'd like to know what you think of them. Also, thank you for taking time out of this taking the time to make a podcast each week. Since I've started listening to you guys, I've become much more experienced. Thanks again. Easy. Easy. Nice. Easy out. I would like Logia to be at one. That would be nice. I think that's Suck irrelevant. It. I don't so I don't want to deal with two ever. It won't. I, I don't want to deal with two ever, but... If they summon no two... No offense. If they summon two... two but if they had the ability to summon two, you'd failed. You have that's failed. not true. I have never, like, let them summon the second one if I was prepared to win. I was playing my deck in You're just not doing anything if you let them summon two. Not like two at once, but through the course of the deal. No, like, that's what I meant. Oh. I've never let them summon the second one. Like, if they only and had one... You're, so, when I took my deck to the tournament forever ago and I was playing against Matthew, like, I waded through one Logia, and I think I had to wade through a Doka, and then, because he had a second Logia, there was, like, absolutely nothing I could do. On top of Macro, on top of the Logia, on top of the Doka, mm-hmm. there was just, like, nothing I could do in the, in the way that my deck is now. If I was running more, like, Rikos or more back row destruction, yeah, yeah. I probably would have been fine. But Well, your deck is a specifically horrible matchup against that deck in general. Mm. So it's well, it's really difficult to stop them just in general. So yeah. Understandable. Yeah. Yeah. If you have at least... Excuse me, even or good matchups against the deck, they should probably not be summoning the second one anyway. And then they shouldn't... Well, so they shouldn't be limiting the card because it's really good at two in a matchup they're already good against. Mm. That doesn't make much sense to me. That's, so that's that's why I don't think they should limit it. Mm. Not that it... But I don't know. I, I, could, I was thinking about it earlier today. 
They could probably put Rabbit to one. Ooh. Because by that point, we'll have the ability to run the three normals in a deck. Mm hmm. That, where that's feasible. And it'll make it so that you have to want to be able to run the normals without Rabbit. So mm -hmm. it shouldn't make it. The card shouldn't be so good that you can run bad monsters in your deck. Mm -hmm. You should run. You should the run bad them monsters because in your deck, and then have Rabbit be a bonus. Yeah, so that when you draw Rabbit, you get a good play. Like there's not like it would make it so it, well Macro Rabbit Rabbit deck wouldn't exist because it's not Rabbit if there's only one. Mm -hmm. And they'd probably cut out Cabazals and just run three Sabersaurus and Dinosaurs. I mean, they just good. do more. They'd be more focused around like uh, Guiba would Guiba be important. Horses. They'd Guiba. probably run like three Guiba, three Sabersaurus, one Rabbit, and like Hanzo. Hmm. Hanzo. That, that's what I'd do if that deck were to try to transition. I feel like ban limiting Rabbit to one is an inconsistent move with how many decks they're making that just plop things onto the field for free. Yeah. I mean, the, deck, the other thing is, though, the deck isn't helping to make money. Of, of course. Of it's course. just, it's making, it's if it can fight the decks they're making, then they should get rid of it. Well, yeah. What a business decision. I'm not, business that's decision. just how they do it. Yeah. I, I don't want, because right where we are at right now... The only things that they can get rid of are things that have just, like, stayed around forever. And if they keep knocking them away for some silly reason, then I'm just going to be really frustrated. Like, I could see them, like... like you said, they on the Zectors. I, I doubt that. That would just be dirty. That's just like a kick in them. It's mud in the eye, be the one. Like, what are they going... They, they, could do, they could do more to wind-ups, I guess. They will... I think they'll hit wind-ups. No. It's, at no. this point. Because it's pretty, like... It's almost a consensus, in America at least, that mm -hmm. it's like the best deck. Mm. I will never cut and run. Um, <laughs> in Japan, it's a different story because they have other decks that kind of like keep it out of the way that are really good. That, yeah. Well, essentially, all these in Japan right now, mm -hmm. there's a lot of decks that use Rabbit. Mm -hmm. Because they got all these Xyz monsters that are just dumb. Mm -hmm. And then it's allowing those to be abused to a point where Rabbit can be run in almost anything. On the inverse of them making a business decision, why would they limit a card that gets their their Xyz monsters like incredible visibility? That's true. All right, so first of, first of all, let's talk about foolish burial. What, <laughs> what about foolish burial? Uh, I mean, premature, premature burial. Premature, yeah, premature, premature burial. burial. Yeah. No, that's just no. the bad. Worst. Uh, the reason that card is banned is not because it's not like it's like it's a weak monster born. We know that. That's what mm -hmm. people they read and they're like, it's a weak monster born. Why mm -hmm. not have this instead of reborn? That's not why it's banned. We've been over that. It's because the card is literally flawed in its design. Mm -hmm. You can return it to your hand and the monster's not destroyed. Whoa. Boom. There, it's it's done. It's searchable. We and now it. it's it's even better now that it's searchable. We let you in on the best worst kept secret of Yu Gi Oh. Like BLS wasn't banned because it was flawed. It was just good. So it almost makes sense that they bring it back because it's like, well, Dark Arm's legal, mm -hmm. and it's not. And people win when they drop Dark Arm. Yeah, so I mean, it's fair to keep BLS around because mm -hmm. it's not flawed in design to the, make it the like upset, literally do something incorrect. The upset about BLS is that it it can be, it is very common. Yeah, it's easy to run, uh, but I'll gladly accept people running Togat and everything because it'll make a lot of decks bad. I'm fine with people running like Valor because that encourages BLS. people running Valor. Yeah. Well, I mean, because Valor's not, like, not that great. Mm -hmm. So if it's if people want to run these like not that great cards to fit in just one mm -hmm. BLS, that's fine. And then when you complain, oh, I didn't, I wasn't running Valor, so I lost. Well, now you're running BLS and Valor, so that's one less thing that you have to complain about. Oh, I didn't drive. If you're, you're running BLS, come back. Calm down. You have your Deus Ex Machina, man. You're okay. You're okay. It, it promotes sacking, mm -hmm. which is... I know we like sacking except Konami. Mm -hmm. And everybody who plays Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. This game is sack game. Everybody likes sacking. You're Me such a sack. <laughs> Nobody likes getting sacked. Everybody likes sacking everyone else. Get out of here, brown bag. <laughs> brown bag me? <laughs> Don't you brown bag me? Take your lunch, son. <laughs> brown bag you. <laughs> But uh, Grappa is a little unreasonable. Like, I mean, if we're going to fix Yu-Gi-Oh! 
quote unquote. Mm. Graphics should go to one. Oh yes, yeah, so let's just have three rank eights. Uh, oh, but no. we can't. We're not trying to fix Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, we're because trying cards to make just like, everybody happy and good. If we're trying to make it so the game is fair, it's completely strategy based. The mm -hmm. smartest and best player will win. Yes, we should put graphic one. Uh, other than that, no. That's like murdering the deck mm -hmm. for no reason. Mm -hmm. For not topping a bunch of events. Why didn't you top? Die forever. <laughs> <laughs> For not tapping, you're dead. Uh, and, like, slapping it to two doesn't really do anything. Two is pointless. Two is yeah. enough. Two is the same as three. Like, sure, three is overkill, but two is enough. But you're going to run three, you're going to run two, you're going to do exactly the same things. The issue in that deck isn't Graffa, really, either. Mm, it's the complete consistency of all of the cards. It's, yeah, like, it's, a, like, card destruction should be banned. Mm. That's, I can agree with that. Mm. But I, I don't see it getting banned. Um... That's really all. That's awesome. the only deck. Maybe that like plays it. put uh, Snow to one or two or something, but no. They would hit it in the consistency <laughs> if they were going to hit it. Yeah. And doing Snow, doing Snow that way, like. Dirty. Wrapping, you know, like like basically putting it at the bottom of the river, you know, you have the cinder block, you have the, the rope <laughs> around its feet. That's what you're doing to Snow if you limit it. Yeah. And it's like, what does the deck do once it starts losing Snows? Like, once you use the one, it's just like, what do I do? Yeah. It's I'm, two. Like, putting the two is, like, not a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe they could just put it to two and just, like, minorly touch it. Mm -hmm. But it's not like snow is, like, really egregious, so, like, why put it to two? It's just, like, there's just, nothing to touch the in that deck. The deck just works the way that it does because of the cards that it has. Yeah. And you could mess with the numbers, but it's pretty much going to do the same thing. Yeah. You don't want them to go into dark. Do You do not want dark worlds to retreat into the dark world. Who knows what they'll do. Who knows? Uh, Hyperion. I I could see them hitting agents because I feel like they really don't want them to exist. See, that's the problem. I don't want them to do that. If they're hitting things that they've already kind of swept under the rug, and then they came back and they're like, "Look, you limited stuff. Just We're leave still, us alone now. Don't touch us. We're still good. But I no, can see we them. Want, still we want good. the future. You're the past. We want money." I could see them not hitting them either, because they're not exactly performing. Mm -hmm. It's like, good players in small numbers can top with them. Yeah. Which just means not as bad players can top with them. They live in the Konami them. dream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but that's pretty much the, that's like, describes this format. Good players take random deck and top with it. Yeah. And then, and then it's been like, basically just this format. Yeah. So, you can give agents another format or two, and if Konami... People... Get rid of that. Yeah, exactly. If Konami is like, they've been around stick. this entire time, we can't mm. just have this anymore. They're yeah. obviously too consistent, I guess. I don't know. And then, like, what else? There's Ugh. They could always inadvertently hit it, like the Monster Born deal. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think Monster Born's... There's no deck that does a combo that just, like, ruins the game with Monster mm -hmm. Born. Let's, let's limit call back to one or two. That's just Shooting dumb. star? Yeah. One turn That'll shooting star? On my side. No. Well, so like, well, yeah, they could do something like this to minor hit agents. Like, they could hit BLS if okay. they did that. That would hurt agents. Mm -hmm. uh, they should something they should do for real is ban Levier, which would hurt agents. Bad. It would prevent all these bad OTKs that are always based around Levier. Everything. There's all the if you have level three monsters in your deck, you have a Levier OTK. You know what would be so funny? They limit Levier to one. <laughs> yeah, we we heard agents. We did nothing, but you know, we got to keep up appearances. We can't have this get um, out of control. <laughs> but uh, Hyperion one is just like isn't it killing the deck forever? Mm, yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Hitting it to two is killing it forever. I mean, anything touching Hyperion is hit killing the deck forever. But you can search that card. What you card? can you can search it with Earth if you have Sanctuary in the sky. <laughs> he knew. Oh. He knew. I was uh, there was a I reasonable hoping... deck that could you do that. There was it's the one where you use Daedalus mm. instead of Christia. Daedalus. I read Daedalus. Oh man. Uh I was hoping you were like, there's no way to search Hyperion. You're but bad, still, please. that's still really bad. Because you don't like at that point you don't want to have to search Hyperion, you want to search Venus because you want to get Venus. But uh I don't know, it's just it's hard to hit that deck too, because it's like it's been boiled down to such a... The, it's got all it has left. That's all it's yeah. going to use. You, they lost to Trishula. They basically lost all synchro plays that they ever possibly had. So it's almost like Konami's got them exactly where they want them to be, which is like, they can only do what they've done with mm -hmm. that day. It'll never change. 
It can never become a different deck. Obvious Gantetsu is obvious. Obvious Gen X Ally Birdman is obvious. Like, well, you don't even want that anymore because you can't sell much your shoe though. Nah, true, true. It's not worth it. The deck is just, it's been boiled down to this core where it can't simplify or advance itself anymore because it has so little things left to use. That if they hit anything, the deck will fall apart. Mm. Poor deck. What else? Judgment Dragon? No. Mike's no. ones don't do anything. People don't even run Judgment Dragon. Do they not? I don't know. Do, like, do they? they? Do they? People do. Do, do people run lights? I ones? won't do it for it. People don't run lights ones. That's even though they do. Even though I and see two. people running lights ones, and it makes me happy. The the like one or two guys, and yeah. Judgment Dragon. Come on. If you're going to wind up milling Judgment Dragon, and then randomly later having like the two trap cards in your deck that they awkwardly don't have MST for, and then you get your Judgment Dragon back, then you win. That's fine. Whatever. If they don't solemn, or they don't affect Valor, if things just fly, Judgment Dragon go. That's fine. Things just fly. That's fine. But I mean, you can't really do anything more to Light Swarns. You've already done everything. Go ahead and limit Solar Recharge to one, that's fine. Hit everything. Just take it all away from everyone. Take all the fun away. You're not going to do anything to charge. They can't do anything to any of the monsters anymore. There is no reason to do anything to Lila or Raiko. And the deck literally does not do anything. The monsters is only Judgment Dragon. Yeah, well, I mean, if the deck doesn't perform, mm -hmm. if the deck doesn't perform, it never gets hit. Yeah. That, that has never, ever happened where they hit a deck. Unless it's a FTK deck. You have some, they've hit, and hit FTK decks that don't perform. Mm -hmm. Just their FTK? Dead on arrival. Yep. <laughs> they hit the, like they're like ones that have the potential. They could see them potentially becoming real, like really easy. Mm -hmm. They they hit those prematurely. Get out of here, mind master. Yeah. Oh, mind master's gone. Okay, mm -hmm. Mind master ODK. Dead on arrival. Uh, I could see them doing like we should save all this. mind August to one mind August because there's that really retarded FDK that's going around right now. Oh, that revolves to my Nagas, because you continually put them back. You get down to five cards or something in your deck, and you hand destruction them to death. Oh, yeah, baby. But uh, oh. for some reason, it got all, like, hyped. No one was supposed to learn about that. That was my thing. <laughs> but uh, I could see them. I could eat Your them. schemes and plans, Matt. I tried so hard to make that work. You're supposed to keep it that works. on the down low. Mm. There's, like, a deck list. No, I'm not now. saying it doesn't work. Oh, I think yeah. it does work. But uh, there's, like, there's answers to it and stuff. But, I mean, if... Mm -hmm. If it gets popular enough in America, they'll just be like, no. Mm -hmm. And mine argues to one that's so hateful. It doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it perpetuates infinite loops. I know, I know. I know, I know. But it's so bad. Okay, so. <laughs> that, that's got to be the end. Yep, that is the end. Thank you guys for listening to the two hours. Next week, we will podcast. actually. We'll continue talking this we will, discussion. We will just pick up right from where we left off. Fan love discussion. Yes. Okay. Yep. Bye. Bye. Extra stage. Yes. So, for the listeners that listen this long, I'm curious, and you guys as well, if we did a rulings, like, thing, say, in, I don't know, four or five episodes, whatever episode that would be, um, but we'd do it as a video, in, like, conjunction maybe with that episode, whatever episode that would be, um... Would you guys want it segmented? Like, the the way I'm thinking about it is you're playing on Dueling Network, and someone is like, this is not the way that works. And you're like, yes, it does. That's why I'm doing it. This is how this card works. And then they start arguing. You're like, here, go to this video, time 107 to time 152 or something like that. And it explains the ruling situation that you're in. Or you go... I already have this one video, just watch this little, like, 20-minute clip or whatever. We just have, like, a... So, like, essentially, so we, we have, have like a 20... comprehensive guide of videos of things people requested. Thank you. Yes. You've done well to come this far, so your opinion counts. Mm-hmm. That'd be good.
So like, I don't know, 10, 15 like ruling videos that if you ever get into a problem, you can just link someone to, then they watch it, and then they understand, and we explain it really clearly. Well, we problem, need people to start like requesting rulings, essentially. The problem would be, I don't believe him. Who are these guys? Mm. Why should I listen to them? True. Well, in that case, you can tell them that they're bad. <laughs> yeah, we you are, are better. Bad. We are literally better. You're than a bad them. man. You're a bad. Mm -hmm. But uh, essentially, if we get enough videos up, it be like credits us. Mm. Enough, li like believable, believable, or mm. like rulings that people know are true. Mm -hmm. If we get enough of that up, and we continue to make rulings, and we always check our sources, then it, then we become a reliable then you're, source. Yeah. Then your opponent can be that guy who just is going to go against everyone who doesn't believe the reliable source. They're going to go against the mid, oh. you. Us, <laughs> the wiki, mm -hmm. and every other reliable source of information there is. In which case, you can just you can you, deal can, with you can call the admin. You can deal with him as you You're like. Admin bad, admin good. admin. We have a bad here. Handle this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How am I gonna handle this? Yeah, I see that paper bag he has back there. He's trying to pull it out on me. Don't let him. Don't let him bag you. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, if you listeners have comments on what we just discussed whether you'd like like one giant video with like times with a bunch of ruling like in a comment or whatever the or description the detail like. section it's like listed what piece time by piece, what time and like what it is or uh each you know a segmented video is a ton of them however many we need and uh with certain card types really like will it be split by archetype a card type by pretty much matters how order. much response we get okay yeah if it's if we should do card versus card rulings kind of thing or or uh text type like when you can and like all of the when you can effects and sure, how that mechanic like all kind of, of works. Uh, if we got like if we started it and we kept going far enough we could have like everything. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, That'd be nice. It'd and be, then it'd be know. nice to have everything in one place. Mm -hmm. For everyone. That's my idea. That'd be good. So uh what was I going to do? I could say if you uh, would like to comment on it, you can do it on this podcast page on the uh, Ninja Training Podcast page at ycgpodcast.com. Mm -hmm. uh, you can hit us up on Twitter, ycgpodcast.com. Or no, blah, blah, blah. ycgpodcast at Twitter. That's us, at ycgpodcast. There's also Facebook. Um, you can start a discussion on Facebook and say what you would like to see. Or I guess I'll do that now. Yeah, um, but uh, don't essentially don't mix it with the like comments for the i the, not the not don't put it on the iTunes essentially. Yeah, or just in other places. We want to like have them in one place where we can all look at them, mm -hmm. where it's not mixed with the other comments that we do at the end of the podcast. Mm -hmm. Essentially, um, and then I guess you can also send them to uh, YCG Rulings at ycgpodcast.com. Oh. Any comments on that? video segment thing we'd be doing. Yeah. So now we are officially done. Thanks, guys. Yeah, stage end.